Oh, baby, we live. Hey, guys, welcome back. We're going to win games today. Don't listen to Blasty. We win games on this channel. Just ignore that. Not the stream. Not the last stream. The stream before that, I think. It was it was pretty bad. Pretty dang bad. All right, just getting the chat set up here. Had to run some errands. Got in, scramble in here a little bit, but we're going to be all right. It's pretty easy to set up. We got it under control. We're gonna be, we're gonna be all right. So, for anyone that doesn't know, I have a work in progress deck that's going on. Uh, it is the mouse hold. Fitz says you didn't do errands. Ah, uh, yeah, I did. I went to the the booze store. Okay, you think it's Friday and we didn't go to the booze store? So, we got a lot of cool things coming up. I don't know when exactly anything is going to be. There's an Ultra Prism opening that's going to be coming up. Next week, we got the a very cool, a very awesome Paradigm coming out. Not Paradigm, Paradox coming out. I swear I was not drinking yet. I know it's Friday, but it's not 5 o'clock here. It might be somewhere. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got the right display capture. So, yes. Got to gotta plug a little bit here. We got the Paradox Rift. If you didn't pick up your boxes yet, if you didn't pre-order your boxes from PSAPikachu.com, what are you even doing? Uh, so next Friday, next Friday, a week from now, we're going to do a Mega Super Extreme opening. I'm going to open four cases. I'm going to try very hard to open the entire set. It's going to be tough because it's three Japanese sets all cooked into one. It's going to suck. It's going to, it's probably going to screw us over. We're probably going to be missing some sort of like IR or SIR or both. Christian says it's five o'clock here. True. So if you're in the UK, have a, have a beverage for me. We got Scatter Mines joined in with the raid. Welcome in. Thank you for that. We got Revenator in the Twitch chat. All right. So we're just going to, we're going to spam games here. Uh, I'm, I am very excited uh, for Paradox Rift. I think it's going to be an awesome set. I think people are underrating it. I think in general, Scarlet and Violet is way better than people want to let on. I get it. You can't stonk dog your dogs off with the set. But Burnout says it's 11 a.m. What we doing? Uh, I'm, I want to do a little bit of a longer stream today. We're going to try for four hours of gameplay. I'm just going to I'm just going to hit play here. We should actually turn the volume. I guess you guys aren't going to hear it. I should turn the volume off on the uh, BTCGL. Blasty says four hours of no wins. That is not nice, Blasty. All right, let's turn the sound effects down. You can't hear them, but I can, and I do not want to listen to them. We, we might have to retire the Zoroark. With Paradox Rift comes out a mouse hold EX, and you guys know that I love myself, the mice. Uh, so we're going to try our absolute best to make that function. Got the sleeves, deck box, and play mat on order from Japan. Should be juicy. They're going to match. We're going to look good even if we suck. We're going to look real cool doing it. <laughs> Go back to hot dogs. Diglet deck. Hey, when are we going to get like a Doug Trio EX or something? When's that happening? But yeah, the uh, should be interesting. It's gonna be pretty gimmicky, so we might not be. We're not gonna be top tier. We're not worried about being top tier. We're gonna steal some wins. We're gonna make people frustrated. We'll figure it out. All right, let's see. Uh, let's trekking shoes to see if we can get an item card. Not that one. Um, we would like to get the. the all right, less than ideal conditions here. We're going to say that right now. Capturing aroma. I don't know if we want... Do we want a... Uh, it's, we're first turn here, so we can use... Oh, huh, huh. All right, so Gengar. We got a double Gengar. Not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. We can use our Ultra Ball to get rid of our Gengars. Get something juicy. Damage pumps and pumps. If we need to. Um... I guess we just want another Gengar. Why not? Alright. Here we go. Pump it. Let's 
get one of these bad boys. Ooh, we could squawk a Billy. We could squawk a Billy if we want to get real juicy, real fast. I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. All right, squawk a Billy it is. Aurelius, how's it going? All right. Zoroark is still good. People don't want to know that it's good. People don't want to. They want to pretend that it's not that great. But I promise, it's pretty sick. Uh, let's get one of these bad boys in here because we want to use our damage pump before we delete our hand. Poke Girl with the 10 boners. Thank you. Unnecessary, but thank you very much. We're going to damage pump here. Shiba says, Paradox getting slept on because Japan didn't release first this time and inflate the prices of pre-release sales. Um, I don't know if it's that. I think people don't know what to do because they, they think that like there's just going to be it's going to be available forever. This is what normal Pokemon is like. You can get stuff on release. You can get sick, nasty $100 booster boxes from PSA Pikachu. Um, that's just what it comes down to. Alright, let's put you in play. Let's do one of these. We need an energy. Okay, we got the double turb. Golden. Golden. Alright, we are gonna leave it at that. Oh, we can void return for 10 damage. Doesn't really matter if we do it. We're gonna leave him in the active. Mm -mm. Aurelius, stop being so nice to me. I'm not used to it. We got TKO who says, was looking into PSA Pikachu, but no code, right? Still going to order soon. So there used to be a code, uh, but he changed it so that the lowest price, essentially what the price would be after the code, is now the price that everyone gets. Just to make it easier and better on everyone. We're going to still slightly blame Adam for that, because every time he put an order in, he forgot to use the code. But uh, more just like fair for everyone. Best price is the price that's on there. It's essentially the same thing. It's kind of like... You could, in, you could increase the price like by 5-10% and then you get a code for 5-10% or off, but 100 bucks is a pretty good deal. Kiki Jicky, how's it going? But yeah, I don't know, like uh, eventually it's, it's this weird thing where, or I guess it's going to be like cycles where Pokemon is more or less popular. Years from now people will be like, why didn't I buy Scarlet and Violet? It's the same thing. X and Y. Well, X and Y we had some like pretty popular periods. Sun and Moon. No one bought Sun and Moon, and now like Sun and Moon, like the later sets especially, just blew the hell up. All right, we got a Luminion. We got a Jet Energy. Do we Ultra Ball in a Beaver? A big Beaver? Let's get a big Beaver. Peak Dad Chew says, "Oh damn, a morning coffee with Rattle today." I had a bunch of coffee. I drank all of my coffee. Um, but now we're, we're afternoon and afternoon with rattle in rattle zone in rattle time. All right, let's get a tails, please. Or a heads. Not really what we wanted, but we'll leave them in the deck. We don't really want to choice belt anything. We don't really want to toss another Zoro work. Because we already tossed one. We don't want to be limited to two. We're not, that's, we're not, this is not a good situation here. We could, we could use the, we could rod them back. Let's rod them. All right. Prof research, let's get it. All right, we finally got Gape Joss. Too late. But we got him. Um, sure. Alright, we need to do enough damage to knock out this little guy. We don't really want to... Alright, we can Trekking Shoes. We want a Zoroark. V, please, and thank you. Katie, you have a good one as well. 
Let's see. Capturing aroma. Tails? Why are we getting heads every time, guys? Why? My coins. My coins are loaded. We can damage phone. We do want to get set up here, but we want we definitely want another Zoro arc. Where we don't need to put these in, we should pump. We should pump. Alright, we're gonna pump. We're pumping. We're gonna go through our entire deck here, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Sucks that we're gonna toss a boss's orders, but we're gonna toss a boss's orders. Rich says, Rattle, I snuck a flask at. I snuck in a flask at my job so we could drink up together. Rich, don't do that, please. All right, we suck. Where are the Zoro works at? We're in trouble here. We're doing lots of damage. But we don't have another Pokemon set up. Hopefully this is a Zoroark. It's a jet energy, not what we want. Even if they are in the deck here, um, we're every time we get a an opportunity to get one, we don't. Maggie, how's it going? Coffee time. Daniel says it's no longer COVID years of card era, but the sports card team team's market is crashing kind of hard as f pokemon however is fine so far um well pokemon is definitely down from the like the highs of highs of ridiculous stonk dog and everything goes up era it's kind of coming back to normal where you can buy stuff it's available and it doesn't immediately go up in value there the people are people are getting a little bit too invested in the old 151 I mean, it's fine as long as you know that you're wasting money on it, uh, buying it at like an increased price. Um, I can say, as somebody that has the master set, well, maybe not the master set. We have, do I have the master set? I think I might have the master set at this point. I don't know if I'm missing any of the variants. But as somebody that has the complete set, I can say that the price of the, on those is going to go down. There's going to be more printed. It'll probably be available for a year. Uh, and uh, I can almost certainly... Without a doubt, say that there will be one more 151 printed. Everyone loves it. Everyone wants to open it. So there's going to be a ton of it opened. The singles are going to be very inexpensive. Some of it is a little bit hard to pull. Hard to pull is a little bit uh, subjective. Not even close to certain larger sets, but... Nicholas, how's it going? Welcome in. Yeah, I like to, uh, it's, I think it's good every now and then to do like an earlier stream. A lot of the people that can't, uh, can't get in on the, the, the later stuff. Can on the earlier stuff. Pokemon promos 151 is impossible to find here in Japan. Yeah, the Japanese apparently is stonk dog into the extreme too, right? Doesn't surprise me. But it'd be interesting, too, because if, like, less people want Scarlet and Violet, uh, then we could end up with... Oh, damn it, we started the fish. Um, we could end up with, like, a scenario where less of it's printed, and then all of a sudden, like, years from now, Scarlet and Violet gets expensive. Like, there's just no way to predict it. Is it Rebel Clash ETBs that are crazy expensive because they just didn't reprint them because no one wanted them? That's the type of scenario we might end up in here. All right, Tails, please, Tails. Give us a Tails. That son of a... We got a heads. Nicholas says, I'm sure you've heard about TikTok deals, right? Yeah, I've seen some people putting coupons up their butt, getting, like, super cheap stuff. Uh, it's probably, like, TikTok, like, taking a loss on it. I will say, though, however, if you have favorite game stores, whether they be online or in real life... Um, do what you can. I mean, don't go like outside of your means and um, to support them. But it would be a good time uh, to support the game stores at the moment, rather than your your TikToks of the world. All right, we go. Uh, this is not good. We got at least a jet energy that we can retreat with if we don't get knocked out. Uh, yeah, the card stores are they're going to be hurting a little bit here.
now that they're able to get product, but people aren't necessarily wanting the product. Magic is kind of very messed up at the moment. To the point that Troll and Toad doesn't even want to buy it anymore. And I believe it's going to stop selling it, or... Although there were some announcements, I think Rudy was reading off some... Magic the Gathering, oh we messed up by making 17 different products for the same set. DK, with all the all the emotes, is that all of them? I haven't checked recently to see if we have any more eligible emotes. Do we get is the bot in here? Is it working? Like it's been like really hit or miss recently. And I don't know if that's like stream elements problem. Or it's just didn't even join. It joined Twitch. It's a separate account, but it joined Twitch. I don't know what's going on. Maybe YouTube? YouTube things? We can prof research here, get a couple Gengars in the discard. YouTube chat bots suck. Um, yeah, they kind of do. If we got the sample size of this one. It was working, it was always working fine before. BK says, can I request an emote? The blast emote? Um, I don't know if we have any room for emotes. So they gotta be, they gotta be scammers, right? The scam motes? Alright, let's use our trekking shoes. Put this bad boy in our hand. Alright, we can ultra ball. Ultra ball you and you to get one of you. We can pump you onto you. Do we want to move any damage around on the bench? <laughs> Do we leave the Luminion in the active? I don't think we do. We gotta hurry up and get rolling here in this game or we're gonna get zoned. Next turn, we got him. In terms of like Discord emotes though, I think we have like a jillion that we can add. You just have to add Shadowless Alt Art and or DM them with a cool idea. Pac-Man, yeah, we're here, midday stream. We're gonna try a little bit of a longer stream today. We're gonna long dog it. All right, not ideal. Messing up our hand. It'd be cool if we can boss out we need to draw Zoroark V-Star or an Ultra Ball or a some way to get a Zoroark V-Star. And then we can boss out the Lugia and a knock it out before it does anything mean to us. Son of a wiener. That is less than ideal. Maybe we can set up fast enough? Is Lugia... Does he not have, like, the Archeops thing? Oh, he's got two in there. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see if we can't... Put these on there. We can Iono. Cross our fingers for the Zoroark V-Star. Guys, this is game. Alright, now it's gonna give us tails. Watch, watch. No, nope, we got heads again. It's always heads today. We can rely on the heads. Single prize, not ideal, but better than nothing.
Let's put a Zoro Arc on the board here. Every clear on the. F PK says, is a Versus Series Master Set in your near future? Um, I don't know about near future. We're going to, uh, next month, open a couple more Versus Booster Packs. If that, uh, I mean, that's closer to a Master Set, right? We're going to have at least one more Hollow that we didn't have. All right, let's, um, let's get one of these, one of these, and one of these. Get one of these. All right, we're we're G balling now. We can Phantom Star, but there's not really any point. We might as well save it. We don't want to discard that energy. We have to knock out the Snorlax. I don't want to knock out the Snorlax. I want to knock out the Lugia V Star over there. But Kiki says, "Imagine trying to master versus series by opening packs instead of buying singles." Well, we're not we're not going to finish the set with packs. I don't know how possible that would be. Even if we bought all of them that are currently available, it might be hard to do. Revenator says, "Why not use Clefy with Zoroark?" Um, does it make sense to use Clefy? Fresh Hat saying send Snorlax to the graveyard. Eggplant says the shop I went to also had a bit of VS. Were they mint VS and were they inexpensive? And how does... What, what is this game store that you went to always have everything that I'm looking for? It's sort of like a little a little side quest. It's a little uh, good use of the, the buy-e videos. If you didn't know, guys, there is a link in the description. You can sign up for Baiyi. Get 2,000 yen off your first purchase. 20 bucks Canadian. Used to be 20 bucks American. Now it's 20 bucks Canadian. I don't know what it is in uh, American dollars. Maybe like 15, 16 bucks off, uh, off your first purchase. It's still nice. It's still nice to have. There's no direct kickback for any of that stuff, but uh, it does let them know that you watch the channel, that you uh, that you were sent by me, and makes them more likely to help me out with uh, the purchases for the opening videos. Such as, ooh, okay, we're surviving, we're surviving. What is this Mew going to do to us? Okay, we're not, what, why is he, why is he... Why is he pumping this Mew? Is it just because he doesn't have room for another Zoro or another uh, Lugia? Is that what's going on here? How much damage do we do? 280? Does he have any, like, defensive... Thirty less damage, eh? Is that calculated within? Thirty last damage. Let's make his fish healthy. Um, prof research. Let's set up another. I don't know if we want to get. Do we even gape John? A switch would be nice right about now. All right, let's knock out the. Uh, okay, it's pre pre calculated into the numbers, so we didn't need to do that. Good to know. Eggplant says, "I did not pay that much attention. Didn't know you were going to master that set. So I don't really want to buy any of the singles at the moment because I'd like to open at least two of each of the different types of booster packs." All uh, right. That kind of thing before buying singles. I don't want to buy singles and then end up pulling those same cards. That would kind of feel bad. But uh, yeah, that's the the goal eventually is to to fill the binder, 
finish the set. But I'm not too worried about like picking them up in the States. That's kind of the, the point of the, the Bai stuff is to, to get the stuff from Japan. Nicholas says VS is a part of which generation? So that's like e-reader era. We gotta discard one of our Pokemon. Oh no, not our Luminium. Alright. We're getting bamboozled. I mean, it's like, it's like Gen 1 trainers, Gen 2 trainers. Or gym leaders, rather. Double tails. Print all effects of attacks. Okay. We're gonna knock out another Snorlax. We're okay with that. Um what do, do we wanna super rod anything? Not really. We could super rod a couple of the Zora works. Why not? We do not want to super rod you. Alright, and then we can Phantom Star. Double turbo onto you. We really need that we're not really afraid of anything here. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish, but. Do 180 damage. We have Gengars that we can bring out. We have an Iono that we can might as well use. We can get a heads here. It's, what is capturing Aroma giving us heads every time for? We're okay with it, but in this instance. Pokemon Promos just says, do you consider yourself a noob, mediocre, or expert at Zoro V-Star? Um, I w in terms of like the TCG in general, I would say pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent, I guess. Right, next song. We got Roshna on, by the way, if anyone's wondering what the tunes are. Um, I don't know. In terms of, like, TCG, definitely not an expert. I've played quite a bit. I'd like to think I'm pretty decent. Uh, I don't know if anyone's an expert at Zoroark Vista, per se. I mean, I've played it a ton since it came out, compared to anything else, so... If we're, if we're taking my skill playing that, or playing, like, Lost Box or something, like, my Zoroark is, is clearly gonna be more skilled quicker decisions, better decisions, just because I've seen it so many times. Comfort level is definitely there. But it is uh, it is not a top tier deck. Oh my god. It's that guy from the game store. Zoroark doesn't leave us. Zoroark might have to leave us after the mouse hole comes out. Unless the mouse hold sucks so bad that it's unplayable. But I think we're gonna we're gonna steal some wins with it. Eggplant says, yo, let's see you play Turbo Lost Box. No. Even most of what I play is like stacking energy, stacking damage, st like that kind of stuff is what I like kind of enjoy to play. Like a mill deck or like stall deck or something like that would like, I'd rather curl up and not play the game than, than play something like that. 
It just, it's just, it feels icky. It's like Magic the Gathering, like, I, you would never catch me playing a blue-white deck. Just not gonna happen. Some kind of crazy control nonsense. Charmander. Okay. Charizard deck. I don't know if I, have I played the Charizard deck yet? Charizard EX? I don't think I have. But the Pidgeys? Kiki saying join the Discord and get to use excellent emojis like PK Boogie. True. My favorite PK emote is the the one I don't I can't remember what it's called. The one where he uh, bought a laptop and the webcam was all fucked up and had like the green going through his face. That's a good one. That's a classic. All right, we have an Iono that we're gonna play. We're going to hopefully get a Gabe Job Bog. Oh, yeah, we did. We sure did. All right. Um, now, we can... Trekking Shoe. A double turbo energy. Can I see the board, please? We're going to keep this card. That is friggin' sick nasty. Um, hmm. We're gonna Ultra Ball. All right, we're getting a little greedy here. We're gonna get greedy. We're going to get greedy. We're going to go for the Squawkabilly play. Everyone's favorite play. Zoro, you can, you can, he's going to... Have we lost yet today? I think we're winning every game today. I think that's how it's going down. We got a choice belt. We got an Alakazam that we can play on the bench. We can play our Luminion next turn. We had a damage pump. Capturing what's our capturing aroma gonna give us here? Oh. Alright, not great. iFOMO says, is this your favorite deck? Uh it is at the moment. I've been saying, and uh I think it comes out next. Well, I guess this this Thursday, the, the new set is coming out. It's got a mouse old EX in it. I'm going to try to make that work. So maybe we'll do a long stream on Thursday uh, trying to make a mouse hold deck work. I've, uh, I've crafted some theories, but we're going to be tinkering around uh, quite a bit with it in order to see if we can get it to, to function. Now, so we're going... Second, do we play? Do we play a supporter? Would you like to use a luminous sign? Yes, please. All right, we got the Pidgey Pidgey Mander deck. We're going to avoid return. Put ten damage on the little Charmander. I'm gonna leave that Zoro Rock in the active. Next turn, we're going to get the V Star. We're gonna start banging things out here. Eggplant says I'm down for a Thursday stream. I think the consensus is that the uh, family attack does not count. Mouse hold EXs. But it's still probably worth playing those because you need extra copies of mouse hold and the tandem mice. And then we get the Zora works. So I'm going to build the physical deck, but we're going to... Before I build the physical deck, I'll probably get some games in and see what works. Pokekid says 23 minutes left in his auction and still winning. That'd be pretty cool. It's a pretty sweet deal. Alright, we need to choose a benched Pokemon. This one, I guess. What are they putting the active here? The Mew? Fitz, thank you very much for the membership. Also, thanks again to everyone that has the time, takes the time uh, to pop onto the Twitch. And uh, spank me with one of those Amazon Primes. Twitch Primes. Twitch Prime subscription. Free with Amber Amazon Prime once a month. Poker Steve, how's it going?
winning some games. This is gonna, it's gonna be absolutely stream elements. Oh my god, elements was working. I didn't even see where it joined. Does it even show when I join? So it's been late the last couple times. Maybe too many, too many requests from too many streamers. We can put our Zora work into the active. We might as well. And we're going to prof research and we're gonna get a Zoro arc V star. Fuck yeah. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's get this guy on the bench, get him set up. Alright, do we keep setting up? We could attack the Pidgey. Put some damage on the Pidgey. How much health does, uh... We might have to put them onto the Charizard. Just in case. Painful spoons. Man, those, like, abilities that are, like, activate and move damage are so painful in this game. Um... Alright, let's, let's Phantom Star. Poker Steve says, I think I have a Twitch reset. Let me go check. If you do, much appreciate. T -Lock, your T Lock 69 on Twitch. Let's see here. We got the trekking shoes. We got the rod that is super. We need a Zoro work. Is it going to be heads again? Heads? Capturing aroma, please? First time it says the Zoro works slow. Um, yeah, I mean it's not really slow after you set up. Sometimes when you got to do a hundred different things to set up, it's slower than it might seem. First time chat from Muffins Meow on the Twitch. Thanks for that. Never forget the time that I got Megabot followed on Twitch. It's like 300 people followed all at once. The bots, the bots, they got removed. Um, I don't know. It's got to be pretty easy for Twitch to detect that stuff, right? When you have 300 people randomly coming in and following you, you would think that they'd just nuke those accounts pretty quickly. T-Lock on Twitch, T-Lock on Discord. Uh-oh, we got a Cherry Zord. And we can't knock it out. That is a little bit of an issue. We got a Prof Research. Hmm. Hmm. What's the plan here, guys? We can get a Zoro work here. We can jet energy this Zoro work in. Or if we still had our energy attachment. JK, we can't do that. Since we're not KOing it anyway, I guess we probably put the energy onto the Pidgey. It's too bad the Pidgey doesn't have. We're gonna have a backup here. I could retreat. We had one with two jet energies and not the double turbo, we could have knocked it out. Unfortunate. We got the jet energy here. Two ninety on him? We can knock him up next turn. We can take two energies off and put it onto something else. 
You could put them onto it if you start in another Charizard. I guess. Maybe. Alright. So now we can put this bad boy into the active. We can put a couple energies off this guy onto this guy. And we can do prof research. Alright, we got a double turbo. I think we're good. There's no coming back from this. Christian says, rattle up for a match after this. Sure. Double Iono. Fresh Hat says 250 Agatha would knock you out. Don't you Agatha me. Oh, I got knocked out by a Pidgey. Alright. So they kind of bricked and or sucked. One or the other. But we're okay with that. Take all wins. Maybe I shouldn't stop playing. But we're going to anyway. Tier 4, Obsidian Flames. I, yeah, I don't know. He was just trying to take prizes. In PTCGO, it, ma it, it made sense to take the prize if you could. Because he got more rewards based on how many prizes you took. Whoa, Goldizard. I skipped over it real quick there, but we did get a Golden Zard. The old Jolly Rancher. Very cool. Alright, we got a Chris challenge. Jolly Boy. Unlocked. Jolly Boy. I'll probably never make a Jolly Rancher Charizard deck, but... It's okay. Heads, are you playing Mew? Is this a Mew deck? Is it a Mew EX deck or a Mew VMAX deck? Or a Gengar deck? All right. Oh, right. you're playing. You're playing Zoroark. No, that's mine. Two Mulligans. The Gengar sleeves. Maybe he is. All right. Not a great start. I'll try not to talk too much about what I have in my hand, just in case he's listening but not watching. Better not be watching. Don't look at my hand. Don't look at my hand. Alice, how's it going? Good morning. Good afternoon. Alright, we get a double turbo in the play. Yeah, capturing aroma is pretty broken, I think. It's given us nothing but It's a tink. Tink a tink deck? Alright, alright. Hmm. Let's see if we can pull ourselves out of this not perfect start. Not bad. Not not terrible. Tink Tinkaton EX deck? I don't even know if I remember how this plays, because I've never played against it. We're gonna find out.
Fresh Dance says the deck's scary if it can set up three turns. I remember reading it, but I don't remember what it does. I don't think I've seen it since it came out. Or read the card since the card came out. And the old Paldea evolved. Battle VIP pass. Okay, not good. It's got a lot of a lot of Pokemon coming into play. Uh, Fresh Nats know it was me that had the double mulligan. I saw the Gengar sleeves and then I saw the uh, like the components of Zoroark pop up and I was like, are you playing Zoroark against me? But not the case. Huh. Okay. All right, let's Phantom Star. Rich says I need you to lose a game rattle so that I can take a drink. If you're at work, then I have to not lose any games so you don't get fired. How about that? We got a trekking shoes. Not too shab. We got this bad boy Gengar with another world gate hanging out in our discard pile. We're gonna pump him. We're going to choice belt. Don't need any more damage pumps. Alakazam would be nice, but we don't need it yet. Might not need it at all. Alright, we can Ultra Ball. We don't need the old max dams. All right, now we need to chill on the card draw because, especially if we take some single prizers here, we don't want to be decking out. Oh yeah, we were talking earlier about uh, upcoming stuff. So we're going to have a Ruby playthrough. I need to play the Scarlet and Violet expansion at some point in time. I forget what it's called. Mystery in the Woods. Hot Dog Picnic, whatever it's called. We got e-reader stuff. That's going to only be after the, the Ruby playthrough. We got... We got the old Paradox Rift opening. We got a Ultra Prism opening. We got... We have more VS opening. Lots of, lots of live stream stuff. Labby Dabby says I want a match. Labby Dabby, did you friend request me? If so, we can do a match right after this one. Username is Rattlemon. Rattle M O N.
Ooh. Hmm. It's that damn, that damn minus 20 damage. If we We're not gonna knock it out, but we can get it pretty pretty weak. Sending now? Sick. I'll check uh, afterwards. Hopefully it doesn't like glitch out or anything. Tanya, how's it going? TKO also sent a friend request. Alright. Two benched Pokemon to discard? I guess we discard the the Gengars. Double turbo. Oh, ten cards in your hand? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're about to get smacked daddy. Rest in peace, Zoroark. We need the, uh, we need an Iono. I probably, well, I couldn't leave damage on anything else other than that, right? We need the Alakazam here. It's gonna save the day. Alakazam! Alright, alright. Give us an Alakazam or a way to get an Alakazam. I guess we prof research. All right, tails. Come on. Give us the tails. Son of a. Oh no. It's a radiant Alakazam is a basic. It was showing up there. It was like. Okay, trekking shoes. Trekking shoes or an ultra ball. Yes, an ultra ball. Give us that ultra ball. F yeah. Ooh, maybe we get rid of the beaver and the belt. We get an Alakazam. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby, the dirt, the dirt nasty plays. Dirt, dirt nasty play. All right, Zoro work. Coming in. I mean, we need to take a single prizer anyway, right? It'd be really nice if we could... It'd be really nice if we could leave damage onto something. Because I don't think there's any way for us to knock out a Tinkaton, unless we did, like, the double... non-double turbo energy strat. Without moving some damage around. Giovanni's Pikachu, how's it going? Maria says Iona work won't work because of melodic. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I didn't even know that was a thing. You can tell that I haven't played as or against think a ton. Oh, 
Ooh, baby. Agrofrag says, is this really the last we'll see of the Zoro deck? Have an idea what you'll pivot to next. So the idea, the next, the next thing, the next thing we're going to try to do, and this is a, it's a hard try. I don't know if it's going to be successful. I don't know how gimmicky, it's going to be gimmicky, but I don't know how gimmicky it's going to be. Uh, we're going to be building a mouse hold deck next. Once the old Paradox Rift comes out. John. Welcome in. I don't know how I'm going to take these two prizes here. Ooh, we, ooh, 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 tink a tink. Maybe? Question mark? Got a lot of cards, a lot of cards in that hand over there. Add to the peak, okay. Add to the peak. I don't know. Zoro work. Labby Dabby says the Clefairy deck I'm about to use is gimmicky. Oh god. Do I even want to know? Do I even want to know? Little disclaimer. Um... By the way, guys, if you're playing something and I just don't have an answer to it, like if it's if it's some kind of like mill tank, Augustus style deck, that might not be the greatest. Um. Did. Is my that Oh he has a rule box I was like why is my Alakazam's ability not going off? I didn't I forgot. Radiant Pokemon. Radiant Pokemon guys. Alright, we need Oh no, we got no gape jaws either. Oh no! Oh no! There might be a glitch where we always get heads. Did we get any tails yet today? I don't think I have any way to win this. I was thinking that Path didn't affect my Radiant Alakazam. I forgot that it has a rule box. Because it's a Radiant. Son of a gun. We lose. Damn it, Chris. My winning streak. Good game, but my winning streak. Yeah, Open Mango. I thought for sure I had that too because of the old... Uh, the old Alakazam ability, but to my surprise. Alright, we got some friend requests. Path is OP, says Jared. Yeah, Path is pretty, uh, pretty busted. Not to mention the fact that we kind of went through our entire deck and got rid of all our uh, stadium cards. The nerd you know, thank you very much for the one gifted on Twitch. And welcome in, Capzilla underscore Joe. Alright, we're running a game. Hopefully that didn't ruin my my streak here. Well we're not we're not counting that last one. The chat challenge doesn't count. We still gotta win every game here against random ranked opponents. I wish the ranked system was better in this game. It'd be like more incentive to actually play. That or some kind of like 
tournament structure, stuff like that. It'd be fun. The old game used to have tournaments, but... Man. <laughs> Tanya says, unless you play a deck with without any rule boxes, then Path is awesome. True. I mean, I wasn't really worried about it, other than the fact that the Alakazam that I needed. Hmm. This is less than ideal. This is less than ideal, guys. Do we Squawkabilly? Two Zoroarks. And a beaver. Maybe I put one more Zoro work on the bench. Alright, less than ideal. Let's see if we can't get a heads here. Of course, we got it. It's a heads. We got a Gengar. Alright, we can pump the damage off the Gengar. It's not the end of the world, guys. Squawk and seize. Alright, so we got Capturing Aroma. Where is... Okay, kid, thank you very much for the one gifted. Much appreciated. TKO, Dark TKO Pikachu got it. Um... We really, really need a path or a pump of some kind. It's okay. One turn here. We got Lumi. We got Niono, though. We got an Ultra Ball. We should be all right. We can at least Zoroark V-Star next turn. Sure, it says, yeah, it would be nice if they had a visible ELO style rank. Even if it was only visible to you. Or you could turn it off if you're, like, one of those, like, people that uh, that are concerned that they have a low number and they suck. Or a high number and they suck, depending on whether or not high or low is better. Alright, we can... What in the flip? Arceus, Charmander, Ralts. All right, we can Ultra Ball you and you. We're gonna get one of you. And then we're gonna hit it with the Phantom Star. Alright, Gabe Jaw, finally. Finally. Where's our damage pumps, though? They're missing in action. I don't know if we can kind of probably remove... Um... Our belts... All right, let's not get the routes. Tanya says, I'm playing a single prize card, a baby Zoroark deck that I'm having fun with. Is it the Zoroark that I'm gonna be using? I guess Zoro's not dead. We're just not using the, uh, Hisui and Zoro. I got my four copies of uh, Evolving Skies Zoro arc here that are ready to go into the mouse deck. Okay, Charizard EX coming in with extra flamies all over him.
Arceus. Eggplant says, doesn't Evolving Skies rotate with E? Yeah, but isn't that, that's not yet. It does rotate with E though. But yeah. And same with like most of the other Sword and Shield stuff, right? Yeah, we're good for a couple months. We gotta use every advantage we can, okay? We need those Zora Works to get more mouse holds in play. Alright, trekking shoes. No. Gengar? Also, not really. Hmm. You're not doing enough damage. Where in the world do we suck to suck? Um, we can get our big beaver, I guess, and draw some cards. Not a great spot that we're in here right now. We can super rod. We need a damage pump. Where are they? We need All right, not good. Not good. Though if he sets up another Charizard, we can start putting damage on it with the Alakazam. But we need a damage pump to get we need damage onto these. These two guys. Relic says, how have the games been? They were good. Until our streak was broken. We were winning all the games. This one's gonna be tough. We're not in a great spot. We're about to lose a Zoroark. Although we're gonna take a Charizard in exchange. Radiant Charizard over there. Put it in the flip. Right, we're taking prize cards and we're wrecking ourselves. But we're about to get a double turbo that we don't necessarily want. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, I don't know what to do. Okay, that's a little helpful, I think. There's our damage pumps, finally. Damage pump. Oop. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Do, do. I wanted to use the Alakazam. Do we put damage onto this guy? Prop became a member. We need to set up another Zoroark, and we can't. I think we're gonna lose. I think we're gonna lose. Vicente Hernandez became a member. Thank you very much for the memberships. Pokey TB, five memberships. Thank Jeremy you Grotchick very much. Became a member. Um, 
I think we're boned here, guys. We can just put a Gengar on for fun. We don't have another setup, and we're gonna get knocked out. Unless, unless he doesn't have anything that he can play. We got two cave mamas. Seems to be a theme recently. Every time we take two prize cards, it's two of the same card. What is Labby playing? Clefairy and Weird Ear? I don't know if I've ever seen that either. Is it terrifying? Celadon, how's it going? All right, this might be the. It's, we're going downhill here. We need to. We need to bring it back around. Hopefully, we don't get knocked out here, and we can win the game. We have a full bench now. I shouldn't have played that other Gengar on the bench just in case we didn't get knocked out. We got the stupid Gallade. Searching for supporter cards. He's Iona wing ass. We kind of need something to get knocked out. Okay. Now. Now. It's a shame we can't move three damage counters. We can knock out the... Do we take out the Charizard? The Radiant Charizard? All right, let's get the Charizard's weak. We're going to take out the Radiant Charizard. We're gonna... Incise her for fun. Yeah, we kind of boned ourselves here. We should have not played that Gengar. It's okay, we learn, we live and we learn. Zoro is dead right now because we filled up our bench too much. We got all the damage where we need it. The concern being... Is he gonna candy us? I'm gonna research away a Charmander. Okay. Arceus V-Star. Interesting. We could have set it up so that we could knock out one of the Charmanders, but I was afraid that this other Charmander would like... Okay, we're playing this one because... It's a healthy Charmander. Fresh Tads, don't say that. He doesn't have a candy. Please, no candy. No candy. Anything but a candy. Please and thanks. It'll be interesting to see how the mouse hold goes. I don't think there's going to be many single prize decks. We're going to see. We might lose a lot of games. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. For the mice. The mouse house. Uh-oh, there's the candy. I mean, we can... We can sacrifice the Gengar here and set up. We need another double turbo. How many did we toss so far? Only one, so there's two more in the deck. There's two more in the deck. We might be okay. Problem is we can't like get rid of these. Unless he has a boss. Then we're kinda boned. We gotta hope for no boss. And we're gonna thin the deck. Gonna thin the deck. We're gonna thin the deck. 
We need an energy, double turbo. Son of a gun. Trekking shoes, double turbo. Cave mama, no. Or oh, maybe we should have kept the cave mama. All right, no boss, no boss. Kiki says first confirm tails. No, I think we had one or two earlier. There was a lot of heads in a row though, like suspiciously in a row. Hit too many cards, too many boss, too many boss opportunities. We messed up there though. We should have, uh, we probably would have won had I not played that Gengar onto the bench. I think, I think. We got an eggplant challenge. Are you playing Lost Box? Are you playing Charmander Dagger Cat? All right, all right. No, also a turn. Are you playing Charizard? You would be a Charizard baller, wouldn't you? Oh, do I want to go first? I think so. You don't have to turn the stream off, but you can. Probably better if you don't look at the screen. sure there's a slight advantage to hearing me talk about crap but not the end of the world Frigabax all right okay There we go. Baba, how's it going? Welcome in. Gorilla says, Rattle did you see my Discord post? Everyone that made an order at Pokemon Center over $30 will get their promo, even if their purchase items have been canceled. Nice. Um, I did not see it, but I did see that people were getting like late notifications. And it doesn't surprise me that like the Pokemon Center support people uh, didn't know what they were talking about. That or maybe they changed their mind on it. But it's good to see that everyone's going to at least get them. I still think they messed up in terms of uh, the amount of time that it was made available. It should be on there. I I'm not saying they should have it on there for years. But at least have it on there for a few days. I think that's uh, realistic. I don't know if they had like not nearly enough or if it was just so many people buying them. Buying things in general. That... All right, let's see here. All right, Prof Research, Cave Mama coming in. Extra Mama. All right, Capturing a Roam. Give us the Zoroark V-Star. And now it's going to give us tails every time. Son of a gun. Alright, one of these is gonna give us heads. Oh my god. Tanya! You have a good day as well. Probably see you tomorrow in the happy hour chat. For anyone that doesn't know or hasn't been. 
on Saturdays. We have a voice and video chat. The head's luck is definitely running out. Okay, 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 okay. It's just, it's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. No big deal. Here. <laughs> Good thing I had three of them in my <laughs> needed them all. Super round trekking shoes, my gown. All right, well, this is how you pop off early. If you if this happens in your Zoroark. You're doing good. Gorilla says, what deck is that you run? Uh, so this is Zoroark Beastar. It does more damage based on how many of your Pokemon have damage counters on them. So then you use like Gape Jaw, you get damage on it that way. You can like bring Gengars back. They have three damage on them when you bring them out of the discard pile and then you damage pump around onto your other Pokemon. You want everything to be damaged essentially. And then you do a million damage or 50x times the number of damage Pokemon that you have. Max Caliber, get that out of here. Kiki says, Do y'all see the beautiful Arcanine knit sweater on Pokemon Center? Are they new? Are they like Christmas Christmas sweaters kind of thing? So that's kind of cool. Look at these fancy energies you're playing. What a baller. I'll have to check that out. Shame you don't get a Pikachu with a gray felt hat by buying one. Alright, this is too ominous. We need different tunes. Different song. There we go. Ooh, baby. Man, there's going to be a lot of math with the mouse hold deck. Because you're going to be like, they have to hit you for a certain amount of damage based on how many mice you have. And then you're hitting them. Maybe depending on how many mice you have. Fargus says, I wonder if... They'll do a, a mouse hold scarf and gloves for winter. There's a mouse hold scarf and socks on the Japanese Pokemon Center. Somebody was posting about it and they're like, why do they call it a muffler? I don't know if that's like the Japanese name or translation for scarf. I think I've seen that in games before that were, like, translated. Whether or not it's a correct translation. Different story. Should say, also, I guess I should have mentioned it earlier on, but the hats, the white hats, are ordered. Submit earlier this week. Got approval. Double check to make sure that they're not going to mess them up. If they do mess them up, it'll just delay them, but... I did order a couple extras of the snapbacks. 
because I know damn well someone's gonna be like, oh no, I missed it. So I do have a couple extras, but that's it. That's all. One time only. In about a year, I'll come out with a new, new hat, new colorway or new hat entirely. Not sure. Something, something hat related. You just shen pow me, mother flipper. All right, let's see here. Get the old I don't know dog. First chance says rattle beanie. Um, maybe. I don't know if I want to wear a beanie all the time though for a year. All right, what we got? What we working with here? An aroma. Let's give it the old ticky ticky. TKO says a cowboy hat. Can you imagine me doing a cowboy hat? Just like insanely expensive custom real leather real cowboy hat tailor just fancy as hell got some like frills on it and stuff get like the, the r embossed in the front of it stetson <laughs> french cowboy hat true headbands like the sporty ones visors the old sun visors 10 gallon hat says john True. Mm -mm. Holy moly, he's pumping up the jam here. Rattle the weenie baby hunter. Ern says get the weird translucent green scammer visors. True. Maybe we have to get something Hawaii related. Do they have visors in Hawaii? Gorilla says make rattle leggings. Should we get tearaways? That'd be pretty sick. Rattle tearaways. All right, we need some damage. The trekking shoes. Baby, GG. Two hundred eighty dams. I was a little bit concerned there, but we're good. We got a we had a very good start. 
Even though we were lacking gape jaws later on. Shan Pao, no match for Zoro work. What? Game needs to reconnect. What? Okay, game. Game broke. Good game, eggplant. No match for the Zoro work when it gets set up way too fast. Thank you, Poker Kid, for the uh, the PSA Pikachu plug there in the chat. Get a Labby Debbie challenge. Make sure, if you guys didn't already, pre-order. It's only a week. A week to go. Crazy. If you like it was just yesterday. We were open in 151. I guess like kind of what happens when we have the uh, the in-between sets. But if you didn't place your pre-order yet on PSAPikachu.com. I guess I'm hiding the price. Um, no, I guess I'm not. I'm, I'm almost hiding the price, or I'm partially hiding the price. Uh, but uh, essentially, $99.99 USD per booster box. Gotta love it. Love to see it. Love to see those lower prices. Eggplant says I got two boxes from there. Thank you, Eggplant. Much appreciated. Make sure you guys are supporting your stores in this time where uh, the market is kind of lulled down a little bit. I think we're going to see a lot of game stores in trouble. So when you can, help them out. All right, we have one mulligan. That's not cool. Players cup sleeves. Oh my goodness. I didn't know we were getting sweaty in here. Alright, we got the squawk ability. Nice. Turn one. Squawky. Squawky talky. And the gape jaw. We're setting up so hard right now. Alright, gape jaw. Put the gape jaw in play. We're going to capturing aroma. As we do. All right, this is like the ultimate start. It doesn't get much more juicy than this. I promise. Although I don't know what kind of shenanigans are going on here. Attaching energy like crazy. Okay. We're okay with that. We're going to squawk and seize. Extra juicy. Hmm. Let's, tr tr let's trek first. Might regret that. Kind of wish it was the other order. Depending on what we draw next turn. We probably should have been a little bit more careful with what we were doing. But we're going to see if it works out. DK Newbie says, can you play Squawk and Seize when you first put the Pokemon on the bench? Yes. It has to be your first turn though, I think. Yeah, once during your first turn you may discard your hand and draw six cards. You can't use more than one Squawk and Seize ability. So like... If there's anything in your hand, you want to use it after you use the cards that you want to use, because you're going to discard them all. It's basically like a research that you can use on your first turn. 
But yeah, you can you don't have to use it from the active. You can just use it from the bench. It's pretty good. Definitely uh, worth the one copy in, in this deck at least. We're kind of like going through an entire deck anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're okay with that. DK says, so like V-Star rule? Uh, so it's it's not a V-Star ability. But you, but you can't use more than one of them. Like, you can't have two Squawk abilities and, like, use Squawk and Seize twice in a game. You can only use it once per game. It doesn't use your V-Star ability, but... Kind of similar thing. It'd be pretty busted if you could just go through your entire deck. Alright, I don't like this. Other than the fact that it's gonna be alright. Not great. Earn Nanny says are the graded V-Star markers allowed. Can't see why not. You're essentially just using it to designate. I don't know if there's any rules at like the highest level, but I'm sure if you show up to a game store or something like that, someone would have to be a pretty big dick to tell you not to use it. DK says, what is Rattle going to do dressed up for Halloween's Scamerino episode, or is there a stream that day? That I don't know. Not planned. That's on Tuesday? I don't know. Not sure. Maybe we'll do a stream. Maybe we won't. To be determined. Might have to... Might have to give out... Oh, I mean, I could after, like, after the trick-or-treaters are done tricking and treating. Temple of Sinnoh, eh? Uh-oh. That's a little sketchy. That's a little sketchy. We might be in trouble here. Didn't quite get what I needed. Not quite getting what I needed. We need a very specific turn of events here to make this do what we need it to do. We actually do extra damage because of the... Uh, Okay, maybe we're maybe we're gonna be all right. All right, let's aroma. Uh-huh. Alright, that was weird. That was a little weird. Alright, we have... We have you, and we have you, and we have you. Oh, we only do 30 here. 
We lost the cards that we needed. Oh my goodness. We're just digging, we're digging a hole here. We're digging a hole. Not good. We need a very specific set of cards here and we're not getting them. And we're discarding things that we don't want to discard in the process. We just got like the wrong cards in the wrong order here. Oh, we might be alright. We should have been checking the contents of our deck to see what we prized, but we did not do that. So it's going to be a surprise. Babbitt saying I need a rattle setup overview. What do you mean by rattle setup overview? Like the streaming setup? Or like the, it's a, it's kind of a mess right now. I have a bunch of binders that I need to fix. I got a small stack of binders that I need to fix. I got a bunch of cards that I need to go through to see what I need and don't need. And we need to do more binder streams. Monitor, etc. I mean, I can do something like that. Do we sacrifice the beaver? How many jet energies do we have? All four of them in the discard pile. Not cool. Not good. DK says, is TCG Live fun on mobile? I never play it on mobile. I think it's just better on desktop. Kind of all smushed up. I mean, if you're if you're st stuck and don't have anything else to pull play it on, that's probably a good option. But better than not playing. We'll we'll call it. Now the real question is. Trying to dig myself out of this hole here, and it's not working. It's not working all that great. Rugged says your phone gets really hot on mobile. Yeah, it probably does. I know uh, Magic Arena, like, that thing will melt your phone. And I have a pretty decent phone. I don't know what it is. Samsung Galaxy S23 or something like that. She gets hot. I usually just play either of those on uh, desktop. Typically the better option if you're if you're asking me. Stick with that. Mm -mm. Dad says, "Hey, Rattle, just wondering what happened to the monthly podcasts." Um, Ryan didn't want to be there, essentially. He blamed it on, like, the Wasi stuff, but I don't think that was it. Mm 
Maybe I have to do some kind of uh, podcast type stuff eventually. It might not be the same as it was. But. I'd be down. Let's see here. We got the pumps. We got the researches. Trying our best here to not lose this game. But I think we just got... I think we just got a little unlucky. Too many times. But maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get the heads instead of the tails that we needed. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Too many purple energies in play. Not enough prizes that we can take in one turn. Labby says, didn't even draw Weird Ear. I got like the worst... The worst luck on these draws. Um, basically I had to discard, I had three of my four Gape Jaws discarded. All my energies are special energies. I had all four of my jet energies in the discard pile. So like, I had to dis I had to attach two double turbos to my Pokemon to attack. It was not good. Not good at all. Then what else was there early? There was something else that didn't... I wasn't finding my Zoroark V-Star, I think. I had like a dead hand early on. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, weird ear me. I don't know, is it even worth weird earing? I mean, like, at this point, it doesn't matter, but I'm just wondering, like, at that point, like, all of your purple energies are on one Pokemon if it gets knocked out in return, unless you're only using it, like, as a finishing move. I would think that the, the Clefairy should pretty much be able to knock anything out, right? Pokekid showing us the Van Gogh Museum shop. What are you linking us? No, 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 no. GG. No one ever go to that. They had, like leak a bunch of customer information. At least they like told people that they like, leaked it, but. Mm -mm. Jablanski. Poker Kid says restock Wednesday, November 1st. Of like what? The the Van Gogh Pikachu items? I don't know. I feel like they can't make up their mind on that stuff. But yeah, maybe keep put that in the more on the Discord kind of thing. If there's a screenshot, screenshot it. Alright, Zoroark in the active, that's what we like to see. Where is our... Gape Jaw. We need a Gape Jaw to start off here. Dean13 says, Yo, Rattle, what's up, man? Are you hitting up any regionals this year? Um, this year as in 2023? N no. 2024? Maybe? Uh, it would probably be, some, like, if there was, like, a signing event or something like that, maybe. Uh, plan is to go to Hawaii for Worlds. I'm not going to be participating. Um, just more so to uh, to go there, hang out with everyone, see the Pokemon things. 
All right, we can give it one of these, give it one of these, give it one of Squawkabilly. Um, so priority on on the uh, worlds, Hawaii. If I can make it to other stuff, then I will. Um, if there's events or anything like that that would like to subsidize some of my travel costs. Traveling from Canada is pretty expensive. Uh, not to mention the fact that I do lose a lot of time uh, on doing things that uh, generate revenue. So it's a little bit hard to do so. I would like to go to more events in the future, but it's hard to go to a lot of them um, and get other things done. If that makes any sense. I don't know why I got another Zoroark. I didn't need to do that. Right, you. Labby Dabby says that a Gabe Jaw would have fucked me if I didn't pull Temple. Yeah, I had the Alakazam out, so like. I'd be. The Clefairies would be. I should have value. I should have put more value in the Gabe Jaws and tried my hardest not to. Uh, discard as many as I did, but also I didn't have the proper setup early, so I kind of had to screw myself to unscrew myself. Eggplant says, what about Orlando? Eggplant? If you mean Orlando Collecticon? Or Card Party? Are they both in Orlando? So, worlds for sure. Oh my goodness, my squawkabilly. Ouch. Explain the squawkabilly counter. Alright, alright, alright. I see what you're doing there. Fan of Star. Alright, we got Gengars going into the discard pile. We got a choice belt for this one. Alright, we need to damage pump. If we can knock out this Raichu this turn, then we'll be sitting pretty. We got a Gengar. Do we get a Lumi? Do we go for the Lumi and the Research? Lumi Research? Why not? It's Lumi Research. Um, unfortunately, we can't. I'm not pulling that far enough. Eggplant says, wait, Car Party next year is in Orlando? Yeah, I think so. Again, like, the Hawaii trip is going to be expensive enough, so it might be only that. If I'm guessing, that's what I'm guessing. Because if I have to commit to anything in particular, it's like Worlds in Hawaii is going to be pretty awesome. So that's uh, that's my reasoning. But I would like to also go to, if there's anything else next in like order of likelihood, um, maybe the stuff in Orlando would be would be next. Although, oh my god, that's going to be, is it PK that was saying that it's in like in the summertime? Summertime, Florida in the summer, I might die. I might melt. Being as Canadian as I am. Alright, let's we gotta make sure that we're doing what we need to do here because just in case. We gotta make sure that they don't come back. They took two prizes on us. Sure they only have a Mareep at the moment, but you never know what they could have in their hand. Mm -mm -mm. 
Eggplant says June 14th through 16th for card party. But yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We just gotta, once the, the channel's a little bit bigger, maybe we'll get a little bit more uh, special treatment. That or uh, if my vlogging skills become a lot of you guys like the uh, the walkthrough video. I was kind of worried that the the reception uh, wouldn't be good enough to live stream, but some like live stream stuff. I don't have a streamer backpack, but if I did, my God, would we be we'd be going places. The scootering through town on, with a with the streamer backpack. That would have been something special. What is our hand right now? Two jet energies and two pumps? Alright, this is why we didn't go easy on them last turn. We had to full set up. We just had to stay indoors the whole time. Enigma says con footage is nice for people that couldn't go. Yeah, um, I was just I was experimenting a little bit with the uh, the new. I get like a wireless microphone, uh, so that the sound wasn't as terrible as it possibly could be. Seeing if that would work, get a little bit of that recording and stuff. Uh, I do have the uh, the data plan that would allow me to do so. It's mostly whether or not the event and or area has good internet. I was a little bit surprised that Collecticon didn't have. Like they don't have uh, like wireless hotspots or anything like that uh, for in terms of like streaming and and that sort of thing or any sort of like streaming backpack or anything like that. Labby Debby says, "I think I'm gonna put this victory on rattle on a T-shirt." Oh my goodness! You could. Did you screenshot it? My opponent conceded after all that setup. See if we can't get some of the rewards from the I think I got the I bought the like pass or whatever, the monthly pass. Premium pass and then I like never played. Not that I never played, I didn't play very much. I've never come even close to the end of uh, the like reward unlocks. Lavi says, of course I screenshot. Oh my God. Um, all right, we're starting Badoof. Not cool, not what we want to do, but it's better than starting Luminion, I guess. Double Badoof, Luminion, starting hand. I think I'd rather Mulligan than that. No, no, no. Enigma says, I'm also a Canadian that can't go to any of that stuff, so cool to see. Yeah, the travel from Canada is is rough. Uh, not only not only that, but like if you're not in Toronto or somewhere uh, that you can kind of fly straight down into the states is bad because you're basically you got to fly to Toronto, then you got to fly to wherever you're going. It's a it's like a full day, full day to and from wherever you're going. Uh, it's expensive as well in terms of flights. Within the U.S., like, I don't know, it would be, like, worth, like, driving down to the U.S. and then taking a flight from somewhere. Might be. I'd have to start looking into that as well. Fargus says you need your own private jet. Problem solved. True. I think the, um, the J-Boys can, can pick me up. Private jet me wherever I need to go. All right, this is not good. We don't have a great start. I 
We don't have a great start. We have an Iono, though. We do have an Iono, which might save us. It might not. My god, did it not. Unless... Give us a Zora work. Come on. Yes. Blake can, yeah, Blake can pick me up, too. Evan Mathis and Blake can pick me up. Alright. Do we save the Ultra Ball for next turn? Probably not, eh? Um, just get another one of these. We got research for next turn. Surely we will run into something that allows us to do what we need to do. Or we're going to get my own out. DK Newbie says, are you winning, son? We were winning a lot. Then we lost a couple. Now it's uh, now it's hit or miss. We're in the hit or miss zone. We're going to try our best, though. Braga says air rattle instead of first class and coach. It's J Boy and G Baller seating, and the only drink served is a Long Island. Oh no, 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 no. Those are small times games. The Long Islander. That's not private jet money. That's not G.I. Joe scam money. And, and, Labby, did you change your profile picture to your win against me? Oh my goodness. Doo -doo. TKO says, do you have Twisted Teas in Canada? My go-to nowadays. We do. I can't drink a lot of them, though. They're very... They're very sugary. They're good on a, on a hot day. But, uh... Definitely not a... Gotta choose a benched Pokemon? Oh, G Butler 69's in the chat. I think we were talking about J boys more than G ballers, but they do have similarities. We'll give them that. Oh no, we're getting Shen Powed. Don't Shen Pow us. DK Newbie says, Did he switch from one Shen to another because of the damage counter on the old one? Or the energies attached to the new one? Um, I'm not sure. I should have been paying more attention, but... Devin! Good morning. Good afternoon. For me. But good morning if it's still morning there. 
I guess if you're on the west, if you're on the west coast, definitely morning time. All right, prof research. It's time to pop off here, guys. We're ready. Heads, please, and thank you. All right, here we go. It's time. Trekking shoes. We do not want you. We don't really want an Iono either, but okay, we'll take it. Phantom Star. We got all the trekking shoes. We can Ultra Ball or Gengar away. That's pretty cool. We got a very scary Palkia. Cool if we could take out that Chien Pao with energies on it. Do we put him on the Palkia? Chien Pao is never gonna be like hard to knock out. Right? Right? Get a couple of those. DK says, I guess because of the hail blade times 60 damage per energy past cost use. Yeah, for the old discardy. We can set up another Zoro Rock next turn, so we're okay there. We're lagging behind here on prizes though, which is a little bit concerning. Science Guy 87 saying, What up, Maggie? Maggie's maybe has been made whole. Is one good thing to happen from the whatnot kind of half ass fixing their mess. I had somebody on the uh, on the Blake 25 video um, who who sent me a message and said, "What? Why are you making this garbage? You used to make better videos." So I don't know if like he was fine with the first 24 videos and then the 25th one is the one that got him. It's not good anymore. Eggplant says the Xi'an Palkia deck is supposed to be more consistent, but it's not anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I get a bad start the way that I did, we could be in trouble here. They're just taking prizes before we take prizes. He's got the max caliber. He's gonna knock us out. We're pretty screwed. We're pretty screwed. Tis the challenge of going behind. I mean it. If I had a, I'd like boss out the back caliber. Yeah, I mean that's the thing with the Zoro arc is just like if you if you get set up early, like it, it can pretty much beat anything. If you don't, then you're gonna have a hard time with some stuff. Like if I go behind in prizes and we're just knocking each other out, like I'm fucked. Essentially. I don't really have any way to get a boss out. 
I don't have a way to not lose two prizes next turn. Ooh, unless... No, we don't have our fishy anymore. If we had our fishy, we could get a boss. We can get a beaver and hope that we get a boss. No boss. Trucking shoes, boss? Jet energy, boss? No boss. I don't know if he still has the ability to like one shot my Zoroark here. If I if I did take the back Scalibur out. But with the back Scalibur, we pretty much we pretty much done, son. Brugus, don't do it. That's why we'll never play. Then I gotta then I gotta tech in some canceling clone. It sucks. <laughs> Four Giacomos to get rid of those special energies. What was it? There was the other that like picnic basket or whatever that like healed all the Pokemon. There's a card that you could just like intentionally play. They would just screw over zero work and that's pretty much it. I forget what it was called. It was like, fuck Rattle Picnic. Something like that. Oh my goodness. Ten energies? Alright. You're gonna take six years to attach energies here. You can fuck off. Devin says, were you able to get a Van Gogh Pika? Uh, yes. So Tap sent me one, and then I should have three on the way. As long as they're in there. As long as they don't get damaged. Um, I ordered three when there was like the hour and a half or whatever. Somewhere between an hour and two hours. We're just playing regular matches here. I don't know who that request was from. If it was Fargus and you're trying to play with Mill Tanks, Picnic Basket heals 30 damage from both your opponent. Does it is it from all Pokemon? On the board? 20 from every Pokemon. Yeah. So essentially it would heal everything up and I would do no damage. 30 from every Pokemon. It says Revenator. That would yeah, that that's uh that's definitely the Kryptonite. There's not really any reason to play that other than if you know you're playing against a Zoroark. Essentially. Oh, hmm. Alright, we got Zoroark. We don't have a Gape Jaw. That kind of sucks. But maybe your trekking shoes will get us one. We're going up against some kind of guardy deck, probably. Devin says, nice. Mine got slightly bent on the bottom. That sucks. I don't personally care if, like, the one that I got initially was, like, a 10 or something like that. It's going in the binder collection, so as long as it looks like a new card and it isn't, like, bent up or... Come on, Gape Jaw, show us your Gape Jaw. A flippin' Bidoof. We got three damage pumps in our hand. I guess we're gonna Iono. Because we don't want to discard all of that stuff. That we had the option to anyway. Choice belt. We can Ultra Ball. We can Ultra Ball a Gengar. We get the Gengar, then next turn we can evolve, we can toss the Gengar, we can Iono, we can do all the things. We're gonna do 30 damage to a Ralts. And hope that we don't get knocked out. 
They haven't sent a 12 Pokemon Center the promo got damaged and they refunded the whole order. Oh my goodness. It's a pretty good deal. As long as they actually send other product. They're pretty much in like damage control mode right now though, probably. I would have to think. They know they messed up. They, sh they must. They must know that they messed up. So I don't know if it was all along their intention to not send promos to some of the orders and that they weren't going to fix it or they weren't going to send them afterwards. There's Yeah, they're scrambling. I mean, you can never really totally trust what the, like, agent tech support, not tech support, but, like, customer support people are saying. Most of them don't really know what's going on. Which is probably largely to do with the fact that they're not, like, informed on all of it. They're just there to say, like, hey, sorry that your stuff got jacked up. Can I make it right? Or explain really basic stuff to people? Okay, alright. Mimikyu. Uh, we were playing against a Mimikyu with Safeguard. Very cool. Alright, we can Io now. Oh, I should have Zoro worked, not Ion out. To toss my Gengar. Alright, a little bit of a mistake. Not to mention the fact that we're not going to be able to attack the Mimikyu. That's 70 damage. 70? We can always Alakazam. We can Alakazam the Mimikyu. Right? Right, guys? Right? Pissed off Pokemon customers are probably horrifying. Yeah, and it's not, I mean, it's not the customer service person's fault. Like, they didn't decide to mess everything up as badly as it was. All right, let's give us the old uh, Phantom Stare. We got a Bidoof that we can put on the board. We got more Azora works. We do need a... We need a boss. At least one boss here to, like, be moving stuff around. That or if they play more Pokemon, I guess. If they play another Pokemon, we can more move more damage counters. We can Luminion boss. Right? 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 We got a big beaver in the Discord, in the, not in the Discord, in the discard. Oh yeah. But we can't boss this turn. Anyway, let's do zero damage for fun. Oh no, we can't damage him. It's okay, we, only, we got the cheese, we got the cheese tactics under control here. Big beaver in the Discord. True. There's, there has been a big beaver in the Discord. I'm sure. Let's post one right now. Not that type of beaver, like a Canadian beaver. One that's building a dam, chewing on a tree. Last he says, fat pussy in the Discord, aka rattle. Oh my goodness. Revenator says a Bieber. Yeah, Justin. We got a Justin Bieber in the Discord. Not really. That would be a cool bragging point. Maybe we can get like a petition to get Justin Bieber to, to join the Discord. He did collect Pokemon cards at one point. Labby, stop showing people your profile picture. Eggplant asking Blassie when he's going to fix the Pokemon Center website. Lunatic screaming Orlando. 
I think he might be. I think he might be behind on the uh, on the stream. If you guys click the um, the like live thing at the bottom, it should have like a little red light next to it that'll make sure that you're up to date, caught up. Unless you want to be behind on the stream, that's fine too. If you want to watch it from the start, the chat will be here. We just might not be seeing the same thing that you're seeing. Bam, 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 bam. you're gonna Ruby and Sapphire play through with me. Argus saying Blasty needs to fix the ticket system first. Rest in peace, ticket system. All right. We don't want it to moon glow us. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna Luminion. We're gonna get a boss's orders. There's only, we got one in the prizes. That's a little scary. That's a little bit on the scary side. All right, let's bring out the Zation. We get the incisors going on. All right, we're gonna get another boss here though, right from these two prizes. One in three chance, baby. One in three chance. Fuck. Well, we tried. I'm surprised he didn't put the mimic you out there. Alright, play another Pokemon so we can put a couple more damage counters on the Mimikyu. Is he just, I want you just playing like the one copy of Mimikyu. Probably is, right? FOMO, how's it going? Labby Dabby says, so many people collect and never play the game. Yeah, I, I don't think you necessarily need to. I do think that it's a good idea for anyone that collects that, that, that they do at least try the game out. To kind of know how it how it works, what it does. I mean, it's it's only gonna help your appreciation for the cards, right? Otherwise, you got everyone opening stuff up. They're like, "Oh, it's a stupid item card," but in reality, it's a cool ass gape jaw bog, which is sick nasty for your Zoroark deck. Nothing wrong with that. Happy Friday is right. <laughs> Devin says I play the Pokemon TCG for Game Boy. That game is lit. It's pretty sick. Science Guy 87 says, can you play on mobile or just PC? You can play on mobile. Um, I would suggest PC if you can. Much more enjoyable, in my opinion. I need to make my camera slightly smaller Whoop. so that we can see my entire hand. There we go. You guys can see my jet energy on the side there. Labby says, how will they know to appreciate my Clefairies without playing? I don't think anyone should appreciate those Clefairies now at this point. I now dislike them. Clefairy's a pretty cool Pokemon, or it was until that happened. 
DK also says, I play on iPhone, it's absolute trash. Yeah, they tried to do some weird stuff where they, like, made it vertical. I don't know why they did that, but then they crammed all the cards together and made them, like, not look like cards anymore instead of just having it so you turn your phone sideways and you play like you used to on PTCGO. I, I don't know. They were, they tried to change the game into something that it wasn't. Make it not look like you're playing the game for some reason. Desktop was the same way. Like your bench, instead of having full-size cards on the bench, it was like square cards. So you just saw the artwork, but not like the rest of the card. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. It was the dumbest shit ever. Fresh Tat says, how's the winning streak going? Um, it's not, I, I don't want to call it a streak anymore. Oh, 10 damage from KO and me. Sucker. All right, we are going to Alakazam. On to you, and on to you. And then we are going to Gapejaw. And then we are going to Choice Belt onto you. Heads. All right, let's um, prof research. We're gonna prof research this stuff. We're gonna knock out the guard of war. We need double turbo. Where's the double turbos at? Where are they at? How many did we prize? It's a little bit scary. Do we damage pump? Double damage pump. Now we can at least draw one card. I can't use my jet. Can't use my jet energy because um, I want to be able to attack this turn. Next turn we can get, we just need the, we need three prizes. We can knock out the Mimic here with the Alakazam. There's the double turbo that we needed. Very nice. We can knock out the Mimic here. The Gardevoir is going to be hard to knock out. Three hundred damage. But well, we got a double turbo on, remember? Reduces our damage, unfortunately. So we'll only hit it for 280. So I mean we could put two onto it and we get the double the double prizes. And we could leave the Mimikyu alone and then we can use the Mewtwo damage to kill the Mimikyu. Who is what is it? Reflective barrier Mewtwo? Okay. Is this a thing? Are people playing this? Lunatic, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Five months. Much appreciated. Thank you for everyone that's taken the time to Twitch Prime on Twitch. Free to do so with Amazon Prime once a month. Great way to support the channel at no cost, as long as you already have Amazon Prime. Just a little bit of a pain in the butt that you have to go do it every month. And it only you can only do it on the day that it expires. Or after it expires, I guess. Pretty tricky. DK Newbie says, is Twitch owned by Amazon Prime? Uh, Twitch is owned by Amazon, yes. I do believe. So as like a little incentive, if you have Amazon Prime, if you pay monthly for Amazon Prime, uh, you do get to... Okay, he's going to put the Mimikyu into the active. Interesting strat. So maybe we do knock it out with the Alakazam. 
DK says, I thought you were telling people to buy stuff off your Amazon Prime wish list. Yeah. Can you guys buy me? I have uh, a set of very frilly panties that I'm really looking forward to that I would much like you guys to uh, I'll wear them for you in the Discord. If you buy them off my wish list. Uh, no, there's uh, the, the subscription. That's it. That's the, the Twitch subscription. Uh, you basically uh, is the same as like a YouTube membership. But yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Revenator says, are the panties for Officer Jenny? Sure. Yes. If you can find those on my wish list, then yes. Yes, they are. Mm, 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 mm. That little mimic you. Kaonis. I'm surprised he didn't take out the Alakazam. We would have been boned if he did. Unless we have a rod to bring it back. Now. Now, 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 now. He's still going to take two of our Pokemon out, which is just not going to be possible. We need to make sure that we have another double turbo. How many? Couple Gengars. Can we not put it on? Oh, you got to put it on the same Pokemon. I thought we could spread them. Spread them and shed them. Now we need them to play another Pokemon. Ideally. There is still a boss's orders to be had. Um, capture aroma heads, please. Heads. The e, e girl rattle Um, hmm. We probably should have decked in there with that and just put it in our hand for funsies. All right, one more prize, baby. Oh, we get the boss. We get the boss. Fuck yeah! Golden. Just like Pony Boy. Very cool. I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat today that are not usually in the Happy Hour Discord chats. Guys, you're welcome. Come on in. It's usually a good time. Usually some people opening some stuff. Sometimes we watch stuff. Sometimes we play games. Sometimes we chat about Pokemon. Sometimes we don't chat about Pokemon. It's a mystery. But it is fun. Uh, and uh, you should try it out if you haven't. Should be in the Discord regardless. And if you're selling stuff on eBay, you should definitely be in the Discord because it is free to promote your listings you go in there there's the ebay self-promotion channels you just copy and paste the listing your ebay.com slash item slash one two three four five uh and diglet bot will repost it for you that's how you know you're doing it right uh, and then it'll get posted on the instagram Did i miss something here Mm -mm -mm. How did he end up with the da did he did he damage his own Gardevoir? Am I losing it? 
Science Guy 87 says it was fun making DGen AI art last week. Oh yeah, the AI art last week was art class. AI art class was pretty interesting. Eggplant says also not only one hour, it's like happy night. Yeah, pretty much. But do you have carnival games there? Um, no. We, I mean, we, we could do carnival games. As long as no one's getting ripped off. TK says, what time CST? That is a good question. 6 p.m. And CST. Do, 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 do. Central time. Uh, that would be at 9 p.m. Tomorrow night. Oh, no, wait. Two, uh, no, it would be 5, 5 p.m.? 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. Central. Right? Central is an hour... Hour off of Eastern. Rattles, Razzle, Waffle, Mixed Wazzles. Yes. Lots of those. What in the flipping Armor Rouge? Is that a thing? Two behind me, one behind Eastern. Six Eastern, five Central. There will be, I can make an event uh, today, tonight, for the happy hour tomorrow. Uh, the Discord events, they will automatically adjust to your time zone. So if you're ever wondering, if you ever want to check in. Usually I wouldn't make it the day before, but... And it's the same time every week. That's just when it starts, doesn't necessarily mean that it ends. So if you can't get in there right away, uh, chances are we're still in there. Unless I've got something going on and I have to cut it short, I'm usually usually in there most of the night. Cape jaw off the start. Oh baby. Trekking shoes. Oh my goodness, we got the Alakazam. Burning Rondo. Alright, we're we're balling right now. Heads. One of these, I guess. Prof Research. Ooh, we got Squawkabilly too. Oh my goodness. We got a big start here. Big start. Man, it's going to suck to get rid of that double turbo, but... I feel like we should. The Entei is digitally off center. Uh, no, I think it's pretty good. It does look like it a bit here. Or it looks like it's fatter on the right side or something. I think that's just the way the cards lay down. How many so only so many pixels. All right, next turn, we're G-balling here. We're going to give them the old um, guess the energy, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. DK says, sorry, I didn't know where in Canada you were. I'm very east. Super duper east. Not like kind of east, very east. Easter, more east than eastern. Essentially. Alright, what we got going on here? We're evolving. What do we have in here for Pokemon? We can super rod back one of our Zoroarks, because why, would, why wouldn't we? We don't need the other beaver. Uh, 
Now, do we Phantom Star? I think we do. Capturing aroma, tails, please, tails, please. Off research. Let's get super duper set up. Why not? Huh? Give me a Zoroark V. Yes, please. We're getting that as set up as possible. No way we're losing this. We gotta take out those Char Charmandies though. They're a little bit scary. But if we get ahead in the prizes, he's gonna probably have the stupid Radiant Charizard at the end and he's gonna use the attack for free and it's gonna knock us out. We're gonna hate him for it. DK Newbie says, Rattle, where were Trailer Park Boys? So, majority of Trailer Park Boys, I think, was uh, recorded in Nova Scotia. In an actual Trailer Park. Poke Toys. Poke, Poke Troys. Says, look at you, Rattle, all cleaned up, no scruffy beard today. True. Uh, I did not get a... Fresh cut. I do need a haircut. But I did, uh, uh, I don't know if I'm cleaned up necessarily, but I did, uh, buzz, buzz my face last night. Eggplant says he lives in the trailer park, boys trailer park. I do not. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually inhabited or if they like purchased the park. To record. Um, but. Not sure exactly. But it was an actual trailer park. I guess that kind of makes sense. If they were doing it on a budget. They kind of needed. Eggplant says, I watched a podcast where they said at some point they bought a park. It is an actual trailer park still. Nice. And you can see it on Google Maps. All right, join the happy hour tomorrow if you'd like to see Google Maps, the Google Maps version of the, the trailer park from Trailer Park Boys. We can do a walkthrough, see if we can see where like the bottle kids are hiding out. Mulligan one, mulligan two, double mulligan. All right, at least we got a Zoroark. Two bosses orders right off the right off the rip. Revenator says sometimes whatnot streamers in Europe jump on the the Discord call. True, they did. They also got very banned. It's very hard to get banned, but. Um, being on whatnot and recording people in the call is definitely uh, definitely one of those offenses. Fergus says on Google Maps you can see the bottle kids throwing bottles at Barb's car. Yeah, probably. It'd be cool if they were actually recording or something when the uh, the Google Google mobile went through. That'd be kind of neat. All right, let's I don't know because her hand sucks. Another Shen Pao Dagger Kitty. Is he a dog? Her Shen is, is he a, do a dagger dog. Oh, our hand. Not good, but it's okay. We got the Zoroark for next turn. We got uh, basically double Prof Research. Hopefully, we draw. I mean, we could we could Iono first so that we don't. Discard or double turbo. Lebby Debby says max rarity is the only way. Um, yeah, I 
online, like you might as well. With uh, decks that I build in real life, usually I have to go min, min rarity. I'd feel bad if I was shuffling. Or I don't, I wouldn't want to like have to try to be delicate with the cards. Because I have something expensive in there. If that makes any sense. Function, function only. Physical decks. Online cards where I have a jillion million big billion dust. Sure. And that I also don't build that many decks, so. Eggplant says I want gold nest balls to play, but $20 per card. There ain't no way. I mean, $20 is not bad. When people are playing like $100 alt arts and like three or four of them. Screen Talk Live says, you ever played tourneys or anything? Rattle. Uh, I have. I played... The only, like, big tournament that I played was an online one during COVID. Uh, but I have done, like, pre-release uh, events and some, like, league nights or whatever. I haven't recently. They're a bit on the uh, time-consuming side of things, and I've been, uh, been lacking. Lacking in the time department recently, so... That's the biggest reason for that. Alright, let's Iono. It's gonna be sad to Iono, but... Screen Talk Live says, ever win. Uh, I haven't, like, topped anything. I was playing... The online one, the COVID one, I was playing... Uh, Whimsica GX. Uh, which was pretty funny. A lot of the people were upset. And or sending me messages saying, like, Hey, why are you playing this? It sucks. Uh, but I almost, I was one coin flip away from making day two. It's kind of sad. Alright, what else are we putting on the bench here? Super Rod. Should have put an actual Zoroark because we got Gabe Jaw. That was a little bit dumb, but it's alright. We're gonna be alright. We'll thin it out a little bit. Capturing Aroma. Alright, give us a Tails here. There we go. There we go. Now we gotta make sure we have enough damage. We need 210 to knock out the Shin Pao. Let's see here. So we do need to put the Luminion on there, which we don't want to, but we kind of have to if we want to do enough damage. We might as well get a boss's orders for next turn. And now we do enough damage to knock out this Shin Pao. Well, bam. Now, hopefully we don't lose our Zoroark, because if we do, then we're going to have a hard time bossing. Mm -mm. Poker Troyce saying, I may have an eBay seller who's been scamming people. I thought it was a buy it now and I bid on a card and won and been waiting almost three weeks for it and said it was shipped day I paid. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Is there tracking on it? I mean, if the tracking isn't updated, then that's kind of like a open an item not received and eBay will fix it for you. Just make sure you actually do make a claim.
I mean that or like if the tracking is just like if maybe it's lost or still says a waiting item. Maybe they didn't scan it in, but I mean or the seller might have croaked or abandoned their eBay or who knows. Oh, he was giving if he was giving you excuses then and if the excuses don't make any sense. Just open a case. If it's like international or something like that, then you might have it stuck at the border for a little bit of time, but if it doesn't show that they actually received it, probably. DK says they do have 30 business days to ship. I don't think that's the case. I mean, it all depends on what you set your items to ship at, but I don't think anyone's setting their items to like ships within 30 days. Yeah, yeah, like I have my stuff set to ship like same day or next day, something like that. But it might be a month before you can like open a case or say like item not received, but that the yeah, so like they don't have 30 days to ship it, they have 30 days for it to arrive to you or. Then you can like open an item not received and then eBay will look into the tracking and it'll say that it was never scanned in and then you'll get a refund. Essentially. Or my opponent is selecting a prize cars. All right, we need, we need to do some crazy things here. I would very much like to boss out that stupid Bax Cali. Or the Shan Pao. But we don't have any energy. So we're going to prompt research. We are going to do one of these. We are going to... Fuck. That sucks. That sucks real bad. I don't know how we fix this exactly. I guess we just got to manually attach jet energies. And hope for the best. We're screwed. We're screwed. Dino Dink forty four says, "What is your favorite Pokemon?" My favorite Pokemon is Mawile. Also like Whimsicott, also like Mousehold, Shuckle, to name a few. I was looking around to see if I had anything that I could grab that was nearby. I do have a Mawile binder, two Mawile binders. I need some more sleeves, the old ETB sleeves. I need to find like a bunch for cheap. Because uh, I've been using those to maw oil, sleeve, and binder. So you know, in the Ruby playthrough that we're going to do, that I'm going to have to pick up a maw oil for sure along that journey. I don't know how far into the game maw oil is. I haven't played through Ruby in a very long time. So that'll be fun. 
as well. Thanos says, is there any particular reason? Um, not especially. There's like Japanese lore, uh, and I forget what it's called exactly, but there's like a, like a folklore thing where a farmer's wife, she doesn't eat anything, but uh, all the food goes missing. And it turns out she has a mouth on the back of her head, like in her hair. And that's kind of the, that, that's the inspiration essentially for Mawa. Science guy says Mawel kind of late game, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mawel's in a cave towards the end of the game. Pretty sure. Pretty late game. Yeah, we'll have to, I'll have to take a look at what's available. We're in trouble here, guys. Might have to concede this one. Might also need a bathroom break after this. I think we're, I think we're doomed. All right, let's concede this one. Come back. Uh, if anyone would like to play, send me a friend request, Rattlemon. I'm going to run an ad while I take a leak, uh, and then I'll be right back. If I can figure out how to do so. I think they removed the... Okay, there's no ad. Because they removed the ad button? Question mark? Do, do, do. Oh, it's just grayed out. Alright, it's not working. BRB though. I'll leave this, leave this open so you can see if it went through. back yeah, I don't know what's going on there I don't know if it's like the new settings but uh, there's no longer like an insert on the fly DK says you got a big ass a green screen uh, yes so it's a, the entire wall essentially let's see if I can uh... I can probably extend it You'll be able to see the stack of binders. Oh no, maybe not. It is big. The whole wall behind me. Essentially. Pokatroy says, did you paint it green? Yes. So I went in um, and I essentially brought like the paint code for the ideal green screen green. And just had to mix flat paint. This is paint. Got a gallon. I'm out now, actually, but... Does the trick. Uh, I do need more lighting in order to make it, like, as ideal as it could be. Uh, I need some kind of lighting in front of me as well. Notice it gets a little dark. Uh, I guess depending on how bright my screen is. Alright, Labby, Labby challenge. Damn it, Labby. But yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a good way to make it nice and, nice and flat, nice and even, uh, with paint instead of, I mean, you can iron or steam out like a, 
a green cloth. But where it's kind of a, a very permanent setup, not really a, a big deal to have a green behind me. Poketroy says, could do some awesome transitioning in backgrounds. Easy way to bling out a stream or vid. I need to get a stream deck or set up like my numpad or something. Uh, with some cool like transitions and, and things like that. Maybe I'll work on that this weekend. Uh, both for the videos and for uh, live streams. Be pretty cool. Um, I have three of the cameras. Tap says, Jesus Christ, Rattle, no way you're having fun. Tap, I am having lots of fun, okay? Don't tell me what to do. And don't tell me how to have fun. Argus says, bring back the Discord girl as a transition. There's still unreleased Discord advertisement girls. Maybe I need to like put them all into one video and release that. People would be like, what the hell is this? This is just her telling me to join the Discord 20 times. I think it was 20. All right, we got Ultra Ball off the rip, which means you know what time it is. It's Squawkabilly time. Squawkabilly time. But yeah, next Thursday will probably be a whole lot like this, except it'll be us trying to make the mouse hold deck work. If anyone has ideas for the mouse hold deck, Please join the Discord. Send them my way. I'm I'm open to all suggestions. Squawk and seek. Squawk and seek time, baby. All right, we can Badoof on here. We're gonna get as set up as possible. These Clefairies are gonna. Right, you have to delete your profile picture if I beat you in this game, by the way. All right, we're good. Get that Temple of Sinnoh out of here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I should have asked how many you played. Is it four? Do you have four of them? Because you better. All right, the payback. The payback is real here. Foxy Roxy 84 how's it going? I see you there on Twitch. It says nice deck if you are the Marnie set. Uh, yeah, so I got the Marnie the Marnie sleeves from the Marnie milk carton. I wish they would have done all the signed trainer cards like that. Those milk carton products. The Juniper one is underrated in my opinion. I don't know if they're still mega cheap, but like there's seven packs in them. There's sleeves. There's a deck box. There's promos. It's pretty sick. All right, Clefairy's coming at us. Moon watching party. Moon viewing ceremony. Do, 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 do. Ow. All right. We're going to brush it off. Hmm.
Hmm. Our heads, eh? Our heads, eh? I gotta be a little bit careful here. We don't wanna discard too many cards. Squawk block. <laughs> Not what we need. Revenator says, have you ever played Gym Leader Challenge? It's my new favorite format of Pokemon TCG. I have not. Seems like it'd be fun, though. Cyril Lewis. Five months of Twitch Prime in me. Thank you very much. It's no uh, panties on a wish list, but much appreciated. to win it here. In it to win it. Come on, give me a tails. We got the damage. We got the damage that we need. I think the Clefairies don't stand a chance this time. I got the right cards. It's time to delete your profile picture. Change it. Change it out with one that says defeat across your screen. Oh, the weird ear coming in. Another temple of Sinnoh. Okay, I see ya. So you do have at least two of them. Good to know. Lasty, seven months on the Prime. Much appreciated. He's got the uh, Rattle 43 J-Boy emotes going on. I think I was going to look into whether or not I could change that. I don't know if it was like a certain amount of... Oh, maybe I need um, partner, not affiliate, or affiliate, not partner. Maybe I need more... Street cred on Twitch before I can not have Rattle 43 and just have Rattle for the emotes. Yeah, I think I need I think you need partner. I know there was like there was some kind of like threshold that I didn't have in order to customize it. Let's put the weird ear back where he belongs, in the weird woods, in the discard pile. Mm -hmm. 
Camps card saying rattle to win worlds in Hawaii. Oh, I'm going to win something in Hawaii, but it's probably not going to be worlds. I might win a couple coconut drinking competitions. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the plan is I'll be in uh, Hawaii. That's the uh, that's the priority trip next year. I'd like to go to uh, to some other stuff as well, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, the club fairies are still in action. Jeremy says, going to win the day. <laughs> gonna win something. I don't know what it's gonna be, but... True. Could definitely meet up. Probably go for the week, I would imagine. It's a lot of, lot of travel, so... Sure, there'd be a bunch of people there that I haven't met. I mean, Charlotte was like a ton of people that I've met online. That uh, just never, never met in real life. Both from the Discord and from like years on, like E4 and everything. Foxy Roxy says, do you ever come to Minnesota? I have not and probably, probably won't. Uh, unless there's some kind of event or something there and that I end up happening to go to. It's a work in progress, but eventually maybe try to get to more events and stuff like that. Uh, like I was saying a little bit earlier. Very hard to do so uh, from Canada, especially from not in Toronto. Uh, just because, like, connecting flights, it's basically a day of traveling um, on the way there and on the way back. So. All right, we got a Clefairy here who wants to donate some of his... some of his damage onto this Clefairy. And then we can prof research. We can damage pump. Let's clean this guy off a little bit. Then we'll give it the old prof research. We don't need to ultra ball anything. All right, I think we're good. We still have a Phantom Star, too. We're gold in this game. Cyril says Rattle is moving to the U.S. Not yet. Maybe we'll have to make a like a Canadian-U.S. compound that's just like on right on the border. And it's also a, an aircraft hangar. So that we can just like fly in and out of it whenever we feel like it. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen of any like Pokemon events specifically that are in Minnesota. I don't know if there's ever like regionals there or anything. But again, with like the regional stuff, I'd probably, if I was like picking and choosing certain regionals to go to, it'd probably uh, be based on if there was like signing events or, or anything like that. Outside of like Toronto would be significantly easier than uh, than most to travel to and from. <laughs> Jeremy says you should make it Blake's old mansion. Yeah, we could buy Blake's 
uh, house that he can't afford. We'll just take out a couple walls so that we can land aircraft in it. You're making me discard my Pokemon? Alright, let's discard these two guys. Twin Cities Con or MN PokeCon? Is Twin Cities Con kind of like games and cards and collectibles and mix and match or like more anime type stuff? Or Comic Con kind of thing? Because Comic Con is probably. Comic Con's pretty anime esque, isn't it? More so than comics, I guess. Alright, we need more up-tempo up action music here. There we go. GG's. I got you this time, Labby. On the ropes. On the ropes. We're gonna- I'm gonna finish you off with the spoons, even. Just a BM. Oh, GG. Yeah, that, um, the Clefairy can definitely get scary. If I don't get what I need, and if I get behind and not set up, the single prizers take forever to to knock out. The deck is not great against single prize stuff. Mostly because I'm hitting for big numbers. It's kind of like the uh, the design. Even then with like the EXs coming in, a lot of the chunky EXs, they're hard to knock out because of the uh, um, the fact that my my belts don't do anything. So, less than ideal. We got, we got, oh, we got some uh, rewards. I like how it tells us the percentage of rates or something. 50 credits, 5 packs. I really wish that you could just click and it would show you the cards in the pack. Mal Meadow. Are we going to hit the very cool Zord? We got the Jolly Rancher. Show us the... Oh, we got a full art river room. It's pretty sick. Profile pick change. <laughs> I was only I was only kidding. You don't have to. Little hound hour. Very cool. Very cute. And a toxtricity. I don't know, there's something that's just not satisfying about opening these. I know that they're like digital, so it's not as... Oh, a full art and a golden? That's pretty sick. It'd be cool if we got both the Jolly Rancher's ads, the full art and the golden Jolly. Oh, we got a challenge from... Terra? I, I am just waiting. I'm waiting for the day that I... Just run up against something that's like just full mill tanks and mimicues and stuff. And it's just a 45 minute game of them hitting me for 20 damage. Heads never fails. Revenator says, do you play any basic psychic energy to use the Gengar's attack? I do not. Um, the only energies that I'm playing other than the, like, I'm playing four double turbos and four jet energies. The jet energies are kind of like doubling as a switch uh, in case I need to switch. But also if I need to, I can put those on um, in order to attack. 
We got the squawk ability off the start and a gape jaw. That's pretty juice. It's pretty juice. No stopping us now. Sibla. Hmm. Man, I am I'm definitely excited for Paradox Rift. I'm excited for the mouse hold EX, but it'll be fun to uh to try to open a set that's gonna be a challenge. The Obsidian Flames in like two cases was It's too easy. Too easy. I know two cases is still a lot of Pokemon cards, but we're going, I want to, I want to open four cases, long ass dream. I want to like right down to the wire. I want to try to open the entirety of Paradox Rift. We're going to open four cases, one sitting. It's probably going to be pretty long. I don't know if it's going to be, it'll probably be like seven hours, eight hours, seven hours, eight hours, but that'll be on release day next Friday, a week from now for anyone that would like to come hang out for any of it. You're welcome to do so. Would appreciate the company. See if we can get a Gengar here, maybe? Nope. We got the Gabe Jaw down though, so we can grab one of these babies. Blasty says pass. Oh, Blasty, you got something coming for you if you think you're passing. I'm gonna drag you in there for at least part of it. All right, Squawkabilly time. Do we prof research first? Let's Iono first so we don't have to toss out the... Adam keeps saying like every release or like after every release. He's like, oh, I'm going to help you open cards at some point. I don't think Adam's coming, guys. If I need him at any point, it's probably opening four cases. We might we might need Adam's assistance, but um, this is not great. Well, we're gonna squawk in season anyway, because if we're not squawking in season, or what are we really doing? In damage pump, we got lost box, lost box. Things going on here. Capturing aroma. Tails? Question mark, please. Heads? Never mind. I guess we take that. Um, let's get two Zoroax next turn. We can do 30 damage to the Confei. Tell it to have a nice day, and we're going to keep them in the active. Squawk around and squawk and find out. Squawk the talk. Squawk, squawk the walk. Alright, we got very emotional music now. Switch my active Pokemon. Alright. We got Tina Box. Remember this card? No one talks about that anymore. I haven't heard anyone talk about Tina. Giratina V. Alt art in quite a while. Did people forget about it? Who knows? They need a Gyarados to go with the uh, magic arm. Blasty says it's not great felt pika. True. If it's not felt pika, people forgot about it. Pulling the card or playing? Uh, no, just the card in general. I think more on the like collector end of things. That's what I meant. We got a Cramorant who is being a pain in the butt. Alright, let's prof research this. Okay. And damage pump. 
we can trekking shoes. Hopefully I don't regret that. I don't regret that. It's capturing aroma. Maybe we should have super rotted first. We do have a Zoro work in there. All right, let's get this bad boy. Now we can start putting the damage on that comfy. Let's get you out of there. Maybe you out of there. Hmm. I wish you could have the option of using a jet energy. Like, whether you want it to put the Pokemon in the active or not. Would be so much better. Let's get one of these, and one of these. And we're gonna get a baby beaver. Baby beaver for the setup next turn. Right. Not the end of the world. Would have been nice to boss out the Giratina, get the double prize cards. But sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta suck. We're not in a great spot though, because we kind of have a dead hand here unless we draw something good. We're at a Gape Jaws, so hopefully they don't have a stadium card. Aaron, welcome back. Welcome in. The comp phase. We gotta be taking at least a prize every turn here. Would be nice to knock out this Tina Vista. With the auto knockout coming for us. Greninja, that's a little scary, because we got lots of damage on our Alakazam. Hmm. Aaron says, out here roasting nuts at work while watching. Are you a nut roaster, or is it just like really hot at work, and it's your testicles? Uh, we're playing the Zoroark V-Star. Uh, next week, with the the Paradox Rift that is coming out that everyone should pre-order from PSAPikachu.com for $99 a booster box. Um, we're going to be trying out the, the Mouse Hold deck on Thursday. That'll be like a long stream Thursday, trying to make Mouse Hold EX work. And then Friday is going to be the Mega Super Opening Long Dog Stream, because the set is going to be very hard to complete. I got four cases coming. Hopefully we can complete it in those four cases, but it's going to be a battle because there's three Japanese sets combined into one. Uh, so there's like 34 to 36 IRs. I think there's two of them that got made into promos. So 34 IRs, a crap load of SIRs. Um, it's going to be it's going to be difficult. It's going to be like Paldea evolved essentially. Labby says I hate Lost Zone decks. Yeah, they're kind of boring. I don't know. It's not like my style, I guess. Not my favorite style. And then like playing against them. A lot of stuff that just like has takes a lot of time is just kind of not fun to me. I guess. I guess some people like it. Same with the like mill decks and stuff like that. I don't get it. Not for me, but you know, someone likes them. Um, let's damage pump. Let's 
Damage pump. We're going to incise her. Hopefully we get a boss. We didn't get a boss. Not cool. Maybe next turn we can get a boss. We have to stop drawing cards too. We're kind of putting ourselves in a bad situation that we're not going to be able to take enough prizes. We have one boss left in the deck or the... Even those, I could probably not attach those, although we do want it for the Tina, to hit the Tina, to do extra damage. I mostly have the uh, the four belts in the deck, um, because Lugia was everywhere, and I've just never adjusted it. There's probably something better we can play. Tap says the best deck is a Kyogre and a million energies. Labby says, same, I try to never let them get 10 cards in the left zone if I play against them. I mean, like, if he knocks out one Zoroark with it, like, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's going to use his V-Star power. Is it, like, I mean, he could do it with, especially if he does it to something that's already got 80 damage on it. I'm going to come back and take the two prizes back from him. And I've got the lead. So, like, that's not the end of the world. Um, what is the end of the world is we're running out of cards. And I don't know if my second copy of Boss is in the deck or if it's in the four prize cards here. Because that's one of those things that, uh, like someone asked earlier, are you a super expert extreme? Um, no, if I was a super expert extreme, we would know that right now. I know that I don't know. Um, and it was, uh, it was a lot to do with laziness because we did search our deck uh, and do have the ability to check that. One of those things that would be nice to know now. Our turn. Damage pump. Now we can double turbo onto you. We can... We can search for a boss. We got the boss. All right, we got the boss. We're going to knock out the Tina before it gets to V-Star. Requiem our butt. Plus, we get two prizes, which is nice because it's going to speed up the game here. And our opponent is going to concede. We got it. Lost Tina. Down for the count. What are we doing for time here? 336. Alright, we got time. Probably call it on the hour. So, 20, 24 mins. Should be time for a few more games, right? A couple more games? Two more games? Three more games? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, if there was like custom tournaments or something like that, that'd be awesome. We could set up like a crazy like Discord tournament, have like some kind of prize support or something. That'd be cool. DK Newbie says, is there ever a reason why you wouldn't go first if you win the coin toss? So, um, it used to be basically always you wanted to go first. With some decks, sometimes it's better to go second. Um, and largely to do with the fact that you can't play your supporter on your first turn if you go first. So... There is an advantage to going first, but there's also... They tried to make it as even as possible. I think most of the time you still want to go first. There's probably certain decks, certain examples that you, you do want to go second. Or some decks that it matters less if you go first or second. 
Or depending on what you're playing against, that could also probably matter. We had trekking shoes. Did I play did I play the Zoro work before I played the Gabe Jaw? Oh my goodness. Alright, we haven't played against a Mew V Max in a while. Should be interesting. So we can jet energy here. We're gonna be doing extra damage, which is not a bad thing because Mew V Max is very chunk. Very chunkalicious. Alright, we are going to put him on the bench, because then we can jet energy in anywhere, as long as we don't get Ionoed. TKO says, you ever come to Michigan? Uh, no, not usually. I did years ago for work stuff, but um, I haven't been in uh, in a very long time. Very close and very doable if... Uh, if I was in Ontario, but I'm not. Would have been a quick little drive down. Usually, like, outside of, like, Pokemon events and stuff like that, I'm probably not going to be in the States very often. Or for reasons other than that. At least for the foreseeable future. Okay, we're we're primed now. We are primed. Not the shitty beverage by that Pokemon scammer. Alright, choice belt. Now we need a Pokemon on the bench to the extreme. Alright, so one of these, one of these. One of these. Let's fill up our bench here with all the Pokemon that we need. Cape Jaws for days. Alright, we can Iono. Well, let's, let's first damage pump. 10 damage onto you. We're gonna Iono. Gonna make sure we have a full board here. We gotta. Make sure we're ready to ready to bang. Capturing aroma. Right, give us. Uh, we, we don't really want a heads. Hey, uh, one of these, I guess. One of these, I guess. We'll try and take some damage off our Zoroax since they are going to be focused down. We can do 280. We don't need to put the Gengar on the bench yet. No need. He's losing all of his energies. His Fusion Strike energies are just a gown. Don't know how much of a misplay that was or how much of a he kind of got screwed over by what he had. He's got Genesects. I mean, he can be drawing a million cards here. TKO says, I drove from Niagara Falls to Detroit. That's my only time I went to Canada. Well, Niagara Falls is probably more likely that I would be there than... Um, Michigan. It's because I'm, I'm in Canada, but just not anywhere near Toronto. Usually. Other than if I'm visiting or going to something. Boxy says, agree. Where are you streaming from? Like what platform? Um, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitch, and I'm on Kick at the moment. We're, we're triple, triple streaming. So if I'm reading chat that you don't see, uh, it's just because it's coming from a, a different area.
all through OBS. And some tinkering to make it stream to multiple platforms. Probably to Twitter as well, if they ever open that up to live streaming. Might as well. Never know when you're going to make some new new friends. Uh, in terms of the chat, the chat is most active on YouTube, mostly just because uh, that's kind of where I started out. Uh, but if I'm live streaming, uh, and since you're allowed to do it now, wink, um, then I might as well, um, you know, might as well stick it on stick it on Twitch as well. Never know when somebody's going to come across it. Um, primarily, I'm not a streamer. Uh, I do like to do live streams every now and then, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, but uh, the majority of what I do is YouTube video related. So, mostly scammers. Taking out the scammers and Pokemon cards. Troy says you're close to Maine. Yes. Oh, we almost we almost screwed up there. Holy crap. This guy is set all the way up. Alright, we can damage pump onto you. We can prop research like so. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm like northeast of Maine. We're getting all the gape jaws here at the start for some reason. So we can do you and you. The gape jaw isn't going to do a whole lot to our opponent because he's already very set up. We can squawk a bill. Although, it's going to suck if he has a path to the peak or something. Which I don't think he's going to play, but if we play something that bones us, then we're in trouble. Alright, what Pokemon do we got in there? Now we can Ultra Ball. Is he gonna? He's gonna end up like attacking us crazy early here, which is scary. As long as we survive until next turn. The scariest part is our energy is on our active Zoro arc. Do 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 do. TKO says they catch that shooter in main yet. I hope so. I haven't heard anything or seen anything on it, but never a good situation. Foxy says, would you play against me on a TCG? Uh, sure. If you, if you want to add me as a friend, should be rattle mon rattle M O N. Um, and I can check after this, after this game. I don't have a whole lot of time left. We tried uh, we we tried out the four hour stream today. Uh, we have about 13, 13 minutes left, so maybe time to squeak one in right after this game. All right, we got a fighting type here that is uh, gonna blast us for double damage that we do not want to get hit by. We do not want any of that. Um, Phantom Star. All right, we need a damage pump. We need a damage pump. Which we do not have. Son of a... Did I use supporter for turn? I don't think I did. So we need to capturing aroma, get a fish, which is not how you do it.
We don't have a beaver to set up. This is not good. Let's see. We need damage on our attacker here. We're still not going to have enough because he got all his Pokemon down before the Gape Jaw went down, so we can't move anything with Alakazam. We're in trouble. Hopefully he doesn't attack us with this thing because it is going to pump us. Oh no, we're out of Gape Jaws too. No, oh no, we got one more Gape Jaw in the deck here somewhere. Richard says, people, <laughs> rattle people get mad at me on Facebook market when I call them wanna, wanna be G-Baller 69s. Um, yeah, that'd probably piss somebody off if they think that it's an insult. Uh oh, he's moving my damage around. We need damage pumps for sure. 120 damage, okay. 120 damage, okay. That did that apply twice? Oh, it only doesn't apply weakness and whatever to the benched Pokemon. All right, how are we? How are we gonna win this, guys? Do we put it on the Inteleons? Are the Inteleons gonna VMAX on us? Probably should have put it on the Inteleons. It's okay. We'll be alright. So here's how we can look at all of our cards. We still have that gape jaw in there. Okay, okay. We could retreat this guy out. But will he get snipered? Let's just attack with him. Whatever. We're gonna take the three prizes. If he puts another VMAX in here, um, we can hopefully maybe knock that out. We move some stuff around. TKO says, I'm thinking about getting a rattle hand tattoo and streaming on whatnot. Should I do it? Get a Blake's break on one hand and, uh, and rattle on the other. And then just like smash them together. Or ask people what hand they want you to open with. With this meta champ, gonna yoga loop us. Do not yoga loop us. He's gonna do double damage too with that yoga loop. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck real hard because he's gonna get the knockout because he's gonna do double damage. Man, weakness resistance I think needs a needs a little bit of a tweaking. I mean, you only run into it so often, but the double damage is uh, is definitely brutal. Beating a deck that you're weak to is basically not a thing. I mean, it can happen, but... Mm -mm. Aaron says, how's everyone feeling about TikTok? Competitive lower seller fees compared to eBay and whatnot. Are they taking over the live live scene? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, it can only happen for so long, right? Like, there's deals or whatever on there now. Uh, but they're eating that cost in order to grow a, a customer base. Like, they can't just have that all the time. Um, it's more of a promotion thing. Or 
We are definitely in trouble here. No bidding on TikTok either. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It depends. I think most importantly is just like a platform that's actually going to ban people that are scamming. Um, I think that's kind of like the the thing that's lacking here at the moment. The platform that's not going to allow like that's not going to pretend to be an online casino. Uh huh. All right, now we do have a damage pump. That's pretty cool. We do have a damage pump. I probably should have been checking into whether or not I had the damage to actually do this or not. Um, Pokemon, we got two Gengars. Two Gengars. Can you just show me the Pokemon that I can pull out of my discard pile? Please. Please and thanks. Oh, baby. Alright, there's no way that we should have won that. Um, they kind of they kind of threw. But, we got it. We win, though. Do I have the Mawile Pika Poncho? I do not. Mega one? For the most part, I only collect the, the English cards. I made an exception recently where, where we've been opening and collecting some uh, Versus series. But for the most part, I'm looking to collect one of every English card, so I try not to uh, dabble too much in the Japanese end of things. All right, how are we doing here? We have friend request, Foxy. All right, last game. Foxy, if you want to send me a battle request. Aaron says, "Nice win, Rattle." Uh, that one was that was very scary. If they didn't, uh, if they didn't just put us in range to knock out that V Max for the triple prizes, I think we were pretty boned. We got the right cards at the end of the game. Yeah, it's promo -y. That's the thing with, like, the um, the eBay guarantee thing. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, it doesn't cost anything to do it, but it probably will eventually. So even though it doesn't cost people anything now, will they change that eventually that there's an additional fee on top of that? Probably, because it's costing them extra money. Well, I don't know how much extra money it's costing them. It might be costing them less than it seems, um, mostly because they have to pay out less on, like, scams and stuff. So if it offsets that. Labby says I got tired of eBay standard envelopes not showing up delivered. Yeah. The, like, tracked letter used to be a thing in Canada. And even, like, from Canada to the U.S., and they got rid of it, which is a shame because it was like it was like four bucks, like three or four bucks. Uh, tracked letter it was like the perfect way to send cards, trading cards. All right, final challenge. We got Foxy Roxy, eighty-four. What she got for us? She got a Mew. Is it a Mew deck? See the Mew deck box. I always like to guess what it's gonna be. Although it's got the Zoroark coin, throwing us off here. Maybe. Yeah, if the standard envelopes, if they're tracked, but they never show delivered, then, like, there's not really much point. You might as well just be sending letter mail at that point. Toss a stamp on it. If you're shipping to someone trustworthy, it's pretty safe. To just put something in an envelope with a stamp on it. The problem is, if you're selling on eBay and it's something of value, 
You're going to get people that are going to claim that it didn't arrive when it did. Jet energy capturing aroma. All right. Is it a Mew deck? Is it a Mew VMAX deck? Two Mew VMAXs in one day. The deck that never goes away. It's a Zoroark deck. All right, we got the Zoroark mirror match. Were you hi Were you hiding that from me when you were chatting? I don't remember seeing that you said that you had one. All right, we got the heads. Not ideal. Definitely less than ideal. All right, not a not a great start, but we're gonna make it work. Laura, Laura on the YouTube chat is Foxy. All right, Laura. What in the world? You got a Vitality Ban? Trekking Shoes? Okay. Sui and Heavy Ball. What are you doing with that? I guess that works. TKO says Mew deck wrecks me too. That deck just feels slimy, OP to me. I mean, it's been played a lot for a long time for a reason. Um, it's strong. If if it gets set up early, like, and someone knows how to play it, you're you're pretty you're pretty screwed. Whether or not it does well against like current stuff is a different story. Uh, but overall, very strong. Rady, Rady Zam. Do I want the Rady Zam? How badly do I want the Rady Zam? That's a real question. That is the question of the day. All right, we got double jet energies. All right, we have a not good scenario here where do I do I do the do? All right, we're getting greedy. Last game of the day, we're getting greedy. We're going for it. We just discarded two double turbo energies. And for some reason, we can't find a gape jaw no matter what we do. Come on, Gape Joss. Well, we can at least do this, right? Aha! Uh -huh. We hit the numbers. Sorry about the short game, but... GG! You got water in there? Water Zoroark? Well, we're gonna have to play again. It's not gonna be today, because I'm all out of time. But... Th that was, uh... That was a little bit of a... Not your fault, probably. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in, everyone that's here now, everyone that was here earlier. Much appreciated. See you guys tomorrow in the happy hour chat. I'll be in there. We can play games in there, too, uh, if anyone's in the, the happy hour chat tomorrow night in the Discord. Definitely get in there. 
if I'm not playing, somebody else will probably want to play. But uh, that's it. That's all. Have a good one. Take care of each other. Later.